Hey guys, thank, thanks so much for tuning in this week. And this is a great week. We have a full house. <laughs> we have more people. Check it out, everybody. Brooks, we Brooks, have guests. We do. We have Deborah. This is John's mom, everybody. And Brooke, again, everybody remembers from last week. So what up? And I know we have some, some mm -hmm. other Bullocks in, on the chat. So say hi and all that fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, so much family. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, guys, um, and I should, I should say right off, we, we, we hopefully upgraded the sound in here. So there's been the clicking and that weird sort of sound. So we. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, good. So let us know if you yeah. guys hear anything weird so that we can kind of, we can still troubleshoot it. Basically. Yeah, because, because apparently for clicking, it could be like a thousand different things. And uh, so we tried a few. <laughs> so there's still 997 things to try if it's not working. And one of them is buying a computer. So that's the last one we want to try. <laughs> so we've, we've kind of, we've, we have that as plan Z for sure. But um, but hopefully, though, but if the sound is better, let us know. If the sound isn't as good, please let us know that too. And um, and also the chat. Um, the chat is on the, um, the, the YouTube channel. So if you're tuning in from the website, um, you can see the video, but you can't chat. The widget isn't there. Yeah. The widget's only available on the YouTube. So if you're using a device like a phone or a tablet, um, sometimes the chat is on the bottom, and you have to swipe up. Like, you don't even know it's down there, but if you swipe up, suddenly there's a chat window. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a computer, like, you know, PC or Mac, there's usually the window usually opens. But if you're having trouble, we're going to try to get be on the Facebook page tonight. So if you're having trouble getting on the, the um, chat, we're going to try to ch check that. But... Um, so hopefully that'll work for everybody. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Just scroll to the bottom or, or look to the look yeah to the left oh. or the right, whichever. And I wanted to thank everybody too because this is our eighth eighth one that we've done, and we have over four, 14,000 hits now That's on our awesome. videos. Wow! Woo. Yay! We thought we'd get six. So, <laughs> so, so we're, we're score. Yeah, score. But boom, and um and um so uh, we're we're really excited, but. You know, this this whole week is about the passing of Prince, which is kind of, it was a shock. He wasn't very old yeah. at all. I mean, it was just, how old was he, like 57? 57. Yeah, That's well, and, and speaking of, I, I, I do want to uh, make uh, do shout-outs to people that are chiming into the chat. Um, okay, Owen says says hi, and Stacy Wyman. Um, Sue Clark is joining us again from Minnesota. She'll be in and out, and she actually um, wrote, rest in peace, um, my prince. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, Tony <coughs> says hi. Um, Uncle Joe's is listening. Wendell, hey, hey. Wendell says hi, Deb. <laughs> hi, Deb. <laughs> Deb. Gonna <laughs> gonna get a single you so out. So Donna's joining us. Um, we've got quite a few people. So um, uh, be sure to to write in any questions or anything like that. We're just chatting back and forth, and I'll I'm gonna try to get to them as they as they scroll. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Man. And. Tonight, I'm going to get started really quick because I got a 28 by 22 inch canvas. I, I, I just, I don't know, I was thinking big. Um, so I'm going to have to paint like a mad person to try to get this done tonight because I want to try to get it done, at least mostly done. And I want to show some techniques that master painters have been using for centuries to rough out a painting. But um, so I'm going to try to get this done really quick. Um, I started it last night. I was up really late. I had a great day. I was able to go to my son's elementary school and I was painting with the fifth graders, the fourth graders, the third graders. Um, <laughs> We had these little art buttons made up of some paintings, like little little pins, and I gave them out to all the kids, and the kids are super excited. I was so afraid that they were going to poke each other with them or get hurt. <laughs> yeah. like, all over, like no, nah! and fall over. But it worked out really well, and um, so it was just a wonderful day of doing that. And Jack, my son, was so so brilliant. He was so cool with that. He was just he was really neat. Like, yeah, he, he was to, eager to help. He was. He just wanted to help. He handed out the buttons. He <laughs> he held um he, he he stood with Echo, my, you know, the guide dog by by the door. So all, all the kids could come by and, and and pet pet Echo as they left and I think I think he just was really proud of being yeah, able to help. That was it. that was that was the highlight of the week he kept saying all week. Oh. I'm looking forward to Friday. Oh um, and and thanks again guys for everybody that's tuning in family, friends, thank thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. And um this painting, I, I started, I guess what I was, was going to say was, I started the drawing last night, and the way that I started this is the way that a lot of painters will, will begin a painting. For me, whenever I draw, of course, I, I just use paint that I can feel, so the only difference, and I just, I, I drew out areas that I thought would have shadow, areas that would have color, and just tried to form it out in a very rough kind of way, and um, 
which I know in the other weeks we've done the blocking out, shown blocking out. This is blocking out, but it's doing it in a face instead of a landscape sort of. Yeah, value. it's like a topographical mapping. That's yeah. what it looks like to us sighted folk. Yeah, yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, and a lot of it is because I'm I'm drawing in areas where there's going to be shadow, areas where there's going to be shading. But with this, um, I was going to do a grayscale image, and which is a way that master painters have done for a long, long, long time, ever since there's been oil painting, and maybe before. But um, we're you know, if you're going to work on an image, especially like a portrait or something that's very complex, it's hard to think about all the lights, you know, the darkness and the lightness of it, and all the color, you know, there's so much to have to try to figure out. So if you start the image in a grayscale, where you, all you're having to think about is lightness and darkness, it makes it a lot easier. And then later you can go in with washes and add color and stuff to it. That's cool. And that, you know, it's just, it just makes yeah, a nice it, little technique. That's interesting. And, you, and it doesn't have to be gray. A lot, of, a lot of artists will use burnt sienna, or they'll use umber, they'll use different, just depending on what, what they're going for. Um, but it makes it where you can really flesh out a face, and then later um, it adds more depth and stuff to it. Um, so a lot of the master painters, that, like Rembrandt, and those, those guys that had these incredible paintings would have all these different layers in it, and the paint would go through the layers and just makes this wonderful effect. Um, that's what I was going to do with this. And then I changed my mind. <laughs> why, 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 why do something that's a proven that proves to work <laughs> when you can go completely off off the map? Um, with this uh, with prints, I don't know. I just want to do something a little bit different. So instead of just doing the black and white, I'm going to start with black, and then I think I'm going to start adding color right away and blocking it in with color because that 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 might be the way I leave it. I don't know. No, I'm not sure. I did Some a Johnny. Of those paintings didn't they used to actually like X-ray that like they've used X-ray? Oh yeah, 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 seen yeah. All the different layers and they've seen yeah. all the different like you can view what the process was that the yeah. artist went through. Yeah, they're really yeah. amazing. Yeah, that that is that is really really cool, and it's it's true. Like and it's funny if you look at some of the masters like Monet when they X-ray it. Um, it, look, it looks like a fourth grader drew like the little trees and stuff. I mean, right. it's so rough. I mean, and a lot of people say, oh, I can't do art because I can't draw. Well, I don't think Monet could draw a <laughs> picture according to that. It seems like he had some difficulties. Did you see that? Did yeah. you see that? <laughs> oh, Lord, man. Oh, this, this is the painting from last week. I just wanted to show because I added some boats and I darkened this area over here. I darkened these areas. And um, there's some color. I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but uh, there's some color of the trees. It's mostly kind of greens. Which is weird for me. I don't usually put colors where they actually usually go. <laughs> so if it's a tree, it's usually orange and purple and yeah, pink yeah. and weird things. But um, it just seemed to fit for this. So. And then there's a green dog. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so so this is a painting from last week. And um, ta-da. Ta-da. Beautiful. Well, thank you. John, has that been sold? No, no, it sure hasn't. Um, no, I haven't Why are you interested? No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it is for sale, huh? I'm interested in a donation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. John, I did have a question. Oh, yes, ma'am. How did you come up with today's, with the painting you're going to do a Prince? What, I mean, how did you come up with the oh, picture that's a, profile? Yeah, yeah the yeah. composition. Yeah. Why, why that's a really that good one? idea. Oh, I mean, that's a really good question because that, that was hard. You know, Prince is just this iconic figure that's been, um, he's been around since like 1980, or he's been around before 1980, but um, I mean, for a long time, and he had so many different looks. Some of them kind of, you know, ridiculous, and some of them kind of funny. No, they're all amazing. They're all amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you know, they're not. <laughs> well, especially for the time, he always looked different. He, 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 always, looks, he, he always looks different, that's for, I mean, he always has a, a look, but um. One of the things about Prince that, that I, I remember most was his, the, his look. You know that he just um, Jackie was saying yesterday that he he has like the best blue steel in the world, like from um, Z Z Z Z Zoolander. Oh you know, yeah. Like, you know, what's your blue yeah. steel? You're gonna, yeah, there's you know, a there's he has the best yeah. one. There's he's, an you know he's got the pompadour and he's all like. Well, have you seen the new, the new videos that everyone have been posting about him casting shade on people? Oh, like, yeah. That he has the best. He casts the best shade. Side on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no. So, so these these are the basic colors that I'm thinking about using right now. Oh, let me go do it. Sorry. Oh no, that's how dare you? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So tell us about it. How dare you not read my mind? I don't see any purple. <laughs> Oh, you uh, got to have it. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? 
Okay, these are the colors I'm thinking about. <laughs> 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 All those colors mixed together, my brother. Actually, you know, and then and then prob probably this too. But these 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 are the basic colors, though, and probably less. So, uh, this is red, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, but probably less of that, but more and more of these. Um, and I'm going to start with the black. So it's just it's a very basic. You know, you don't need you don't need a ton of paint. Like if you're just getting started painting, you don't need to get a ton of paints to be able to paint. Just like just like we were talking about Monet. The longer he painted, the less paint he actually used. He, you know, he needed less and less colors. And the paintbrushes I'm going to use, I'm going to use a one-inch flat, and then I'm going to use this little. I just call this a normal paintbrush. I think it's, it's a rounded. A, it is, it's yeah, rounded. it's rounded. It's the kind that if you're a kid and you get a, a paintbrush and a paint set, it's usually this. So you know, and usually, like if you see um, an artist or something, and they they do a drawing of a paintbrush, it's usually this this shape. But according to last week, the one-inch flat is your go-to, right? It is quite a bit. I, I, I love this thing. and I'm going to put a ton of black down. It's going to make some fun well, noises. I mean, Prince was sexy. And <laughs> you say the black <laughs> is the sexiest color. Well, it is sexy. Well, I do want this painting to be perfect. So, so gotta, you have to exude the sexiness of Prince. John, uh, Joe and I were talking yesterday, and we were talking about how you how you you have a special computer program where you make a print. I do, I do. And, and uh, I think that would, I, we were wondering. That's a good question. Um, more about that. How you. Yeah, that's, that's a really good question because um, the way, the way that I, I can go through and look, and look at the, the photographs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not, you're not really looking at the photographs. You're hearing them or feeling them. So, so what, what, what it's doing, this is really new, but in, you know, the last, I don't know, six, seven years now. And it just keeps getting better and better, yeah. but um, but it makes it where it, it'll either change the 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 um, pixels into sound, oh. so 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 you can hear it. Uh -huh. So so if it's lighter, if it's darker, um, it, it'll, it'll make a difference. Um, and or or and or because you can also do both. But um, you, you can you can make it to where it, it's tactile. So if you if you have a vibrating touch screen, um, it'll reduce the image down to lines. And then, and then you can. Um, whenever you touch the screen, it, it'll vibrate as you touch the line. So, like, if I was touching this and this was a screen, it would vibrate. You know, it'd be going like, zzz, and then nothing. Zzz. And if it's a really thick line, it'll vibrate more. So it's like, eh, uh -huh. and then a thinner line. Eh, uh -huh. it'll so you can get an idea of the texture a little bit. Um, it's not perfect, but it gives you a, it gives you a way of at least understanding what a basic composition is. Especially if you were a sighted person before you lost. Your well, sight. <laughs> that's how I'm going to back myself in there. You were saying before you lost your sight. How long did it take you to, to get comfortable using that technique? Um, I guess about 15 years. <laughs> 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 yeah, but you have. Yeah. Did you say yeah. that it just came out seven years ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> well, uh, well, the technology, and, it, and a big part of the technology, too, that with me is it um, is, is working with, with museums to try to, to, to bring this stuff to museum so, so, so that people can understand people who have a visual impairment be it to be able to understand the images like in a museum make it available for everybody with visual impairment yeah yeah because because for me like oh, just for my art I could feel a person's face and I could do the painting right. so it wasn't really that important to be able to do a, a, um, to, a photo but then I wanted to be able to work on a photo of, 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 of a grandfather which I which I, I still want to do and um, and I wanted in the work that I was doing, like with the Dallas Museum of Art and Meadows and the different places, the Art Beyond Sight Collective, mm -hmm. um, the big thing is trying is trying to make art accessible to everybody. So it was just a lot of work, and you know, I already know computers and all that, so it just made it made sense that I, I would kind of go in that direction. But but it's really cool, though. It's just it's amazing what what these things can do. Well, um, I should go over to the chat for a second. Um, Donna joined us. She said that she got. Um, her uh, her print her her um, I believe it was James Dean yeah and um, so and I sent out a few there were a couple I was I w was a little late on sending so I they're all they've all they're all in the mail everybody should have gotten them or any day now so Barb if you're watching um, yours is probably on its way to your your place as, as well as Kate um, so uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> uh, we have a, a person chiming in, Metville, and they say, anyone ever tell you you kind of have a Jeff Lynn look going on? I don't really? Know, like E-L-O? E Elo? I don't know who that is. 
Hmm. I'm not sure. It? Yeah, we need to Google it. Um, so and Google. then Azur Muse is joining us again. Um, and CC, we have quite a few. Um, uh, and Owen said he found a Facebook group <laughs> for visually impaired artists, and they had a video of, of that he watched of top ten blind artists, and you came in number one. Oh, wow. uh, what? Mm. That's awesome. Well, thanks, Owen. Oh, yeah, Owen, man, I, I, I checked out your videos on online, and um, really cool. It was interesting. Um, it, it was, it, it was a current painting that that, that, that you're working on. I, th I thought that was really neat. The one, the one with the, the woman and she has fruit on her head, mm -hmm. and um, and you sent me the image, but but I haven't got Jack, Jackie to describe it yet, um, and I haven't run it through through the software yet, but but I want to do that. Um, I've been been painting with sec second, third, fourth graders yeah, all day. Yeah. It's been it's been well, a day. <laughs> um, Metville said ELO is Electric Light Orchestra. Oh, them. It's a band. oh. Ah. yeah, uh, yeah. Everybody's like, ah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you spell it out for us? Okay. So, We're like ELO. I probably have my head in the camera. Sorry. And Uncle Joe says Deb has a Loretta Lynn look going on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well. Tell him I said buy me. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, can probably hear you. <laughs> and Marilyn has joined us. So. Oh, hey, hey Marilyn. Yay! Marilyn. <laughs> watch, watch your head. Oh, sorry. I just want everybody to see the top of my head. So, what are you, what are you, what part of his face is that right now that you're working on? Um, it's the eye on the right-handed side. Oh, okay. So you're doing a pretty dramatic. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. He's well. He well, would have to be. Well, well, all, all the eye. I mean, he <laughs> all the eyeliner he sported. I mean, it wouldn't yeah. be understated, would yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> how, many, how many bottles of mascara did he go through every day? <laughs> For real. What? Um, but you know, you know what's funny though about Prince. So he's just. He's just one of these guys. Like he just made it work. Like he, you know, he's not this big muscle guy. He's, he's five not, two. I know oh, he's tiny. Yeah, yeah. That's my height. He was five. Yeah. Yeah, really? he was. Watch Yeah, he was tiny. I didn't know that. Yeah. My height. What do you want? Exactly. What do you weigh? I don't know. No, you were probably like ninety-seven <laughs> pounds. Yeah, I mean, probably. probably weighed he nothing. Weighed twelve pounds. <laughs> 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 So, I mean, it, it, if you think about it, he's this guy, you know, he, you know, he weighs, you know, like, you know. Oh, my God. Barely anything. Yeah, you know, and if a, strong, oh a strong wind would be, you know, deterrent. Like, it, whether or not he's going to go out that day, he has to check the wind report. <laughs> like, I don't know if maybe, maybe I'll stay in. But, um, you know, it's incredible, fierce. though. But, yeah, but he's fierce. He's yeah. got this incredible, incredible sound. He just, uh. he just, in the persona, like, you know, I mean, it's just incredible, really, that mm -hmm. to think about that. I mean, how much yeah. energy and power he was able to generate. You know, with that like tiny little body <laughs> that he had, yeah, and, well, and Ross, you know, just uh, just really cool. I don't know. I, th I think it's. They said during um, you know the epic Super Bowl performance that he did. Oh yeah, um, which is that. apparently the best yeah. Super Bowl. Um, yeah, that, many uh, people yeah. one of the best, yeah. the best Super Bowl performance well, ever. That wouldn't that because it's strange. never rained during a Super Bowl <laughs> halftime, and it started raining, mm. and he. That before he went out, I watched this video where oh. they were like, was are, you, are right? you okay with, with, with the rain? And he was like, can you make it rain harder? <laughs> no. and that, I mean, that in itself so it speaks wow. volumes. Well, I mean, you know, it, if they could have turned the rain purple, purple it would have exactly. been perfect. Well, they they just a bunch of lights. With the lights, yeah. The lights oh. played yeah. every, the whole stadium was purple. And oh. so you do, when he was playing wow. purple, I was like... <gasps> The memories with oh, I can't even. Uh, I guess that kind of personifies his. You know, can you make it rain? Yeah, harder? rain harder. Wow. Uh, make it more yeah. different. And he. I don't love that. Yeah. So Owen asked, "Is that really thick texture you're putting on the the painting? It looks like that from from the look." That's that's a really good question. Um, I. It's not. It's it's actually fairly thin, but it feels like oil paint. It, I'm painting with acrylics, but I, I mix in a, um, a a flow release. So, and it makes it where um, where where we can do long, longer strokes. Like like um, I'm gonna do a stroke from here. So I'm filling these lines that, that I drew in. And these lines are just a guide. It's just you know it's it's an idea that I had last night at three in the morning <laughs> of what of what a prince's eye would look like at that time. <laughs> 
<laughs> and um, and I was wondering this morning when I woke up that you know after after the elementary debacle and all that would, would I even will I even understand what I was trying to draw last night? <laughs> no um, idea. Absolutely. Yeah, no idea. Um, so it's it's actually thin, but it's it's sort of sl really slick. It almost feels like oil. And we um, talked about that last week, right? The, yeah, that yeah. specific type of mixture. It's really interesting. Yeah, it's um, it, it's it's really cool, and it's nice too. Like so, for this, whoa, almost almost threw my paintbrush at you guys. Um, <laughs> would have been interesting. And and for this um, drawing, I, I did the lines extra thick because I knew I wanted to do the painting kind of fast, and uh, you know I wanted to do it more. I don't know, like Prince was so great live, you know. So I wanted to do a live painting of him. So I did most of the time when I, when I do a um, a drawing, I don't need to make the lines that thick, but. If I'm doing a live painting sometimes, like I'm going to be in Missouri tomorrow and I'm working with an amazing charity, the Lions Club. They, they help so many of the, the, the guide dog schools. So I'm going out there and I'm going to do a live painting. We're going to do some dining in the dark um, and that things like that. That super cool. What do we find? Doesn't that yeah. sound neat? That'll be fun. So they turn on their... How is that going to work? I don't know. Well, dining yeah. in the dark? You've never heard of that? Well, I mean, they turn the lights out, but then they also say that he's going to be doing well, well this is what i think is kind so of they, funny is that he's i know that's what i think is funny is that like people have him come out and paint all the time but this is going to be literally in the dark <laughs> like yeah well, would I, they not have i was telling john i was like that you should just like take an already done painting and swap it out yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da. I, I just, I just sit in the corner and just just, just drink yeah. a lovely glass of wine <laughs> yeah. 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 just make brushing yeah. sounds yeah. 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 like the mona lisa guys. over here you guys are slave drivers <laughs> <laughs> well john um, are any of these people um, vision impaired? Um, you know, I'm not sure. I think I, th I think it's going to be. Um, it, you said it was for charity for the blind. Right? It is. I think it's and sold the, out now. And the um, tickets are not cheap. Yeah, you know, most most, most of the events that I do, the tickets are usually fifty, thirty-five, or something. This a one ticket. Was 70, oh, was it? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. And um, um. Well, that's great that it's sold out. Yeah. And that, yeah. that means the. I know it's just funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's hope. laughs> it's funny because all I'm doing is painting live and talking. You know, so so nobody tell them we could do it on Fridays for free. <laughs> but uh, but all, all the money goes goes it goes to the charity, and it's, so we're gonna raise money. We're gonna I'm gonna donate the painting. And, but are um, they gonna have like a spotlight on you? You know, I don't know. It's funny. I I wonder so, the same yeah, thing. They like, can watch you paint. Is that part surely. of the, It's funny that you asked that because I, I I didn't even get I didn't even I didn't even think about it. And a reporter from the area, well, called call me for an interview, yeah, and I was talking to them. No. Well, they, I, and they said, so um, so it's in the dark. How are you going to paint? Or, uh, well, I mean, obviously, you're going to paint, obviously right. paint, but how, how, how's everybody going to see it? I was like, hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> and how can we take pictures for our publication? Yeah, yeah. really. But I, th I think I think maybe what it is is just going to be very, 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 very dim. Mm. Yeah. And what are you painting? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Maybe really? I, I would think a spotlight, maybe. Like, that's oh. just... That's oh, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Is it, yeah. yeah. it yeah. going to be a Maybe surprise for the people there? Or? I mean, or, I no, mean, they know he's. I mean, I love that. Yeah, I, I think you're. I think he's on the invitational. Like, no, I meant, I meant what he's the, the subject of his paint. Is that going to be a surprise? What you paint? Probably. Um, is it is. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what I'm doing. What? Yeah, yeah I, maybe you could do another prince. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But uh, you know, I only have two hours. Oh yeah. Well, of course, I have two hours tonight, so it might work. But um, but a lot of times I've noticed in those live events, um, you're 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 also talking a lot, um, which I know we're doing that here too. But but whenever somebody comes up, you want to show them something. It it, it takes time time away. So I've noticed a, a lot of times it's better to have a, a painting that you think you can do in an hour and a half or hour and twenty minutes, and because mm -hmm. you don't really. Do you think portrait landscape? It'll probably be landscape. Probably. It'll probably be. Although even that changes. Like I well, I did an event a month or two ago and. Take longer. Where I was going to paint the desert, and then end up being the ocean. Mm -hmm. I don't know. My hand just would kept going horizontal, horizontal. You know our idea know. from last week, the um, shark, the <laughs> robot shark. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the robot shark catching a squid. Uh, yeah. Jumping out of the water. Owen chimed in. He said he's a member of the West Shore Lions Club. Um, oh, cool. And he even thought of coming to Ohio if they sponsor you, like Missouri's Lion Club. Oh, cool. oh wait, no, that was a question. Aren't I, aren't I ever, 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 sorry, ever thought of coming to Ohio? Aren't I, aren't I going to Ohio? Not that I know of. Oh, am I not? I don't know. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> I haven't set anything up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but it would be cool. I'm from Ohio. I'm I'm from Cincinnati, so go. 
Washington. I don't know. Go go Cincinnati. see the suburbs, which is like everything else. <laughs> go Ohio. <laughs> yeah, go Ohio. <laughs> there was there there was something in Ohio that was coming up. I thought. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't remember. Well, and so. I might have dreamt it. <laughs> Probably. I'm so amazing in my own mind. I just go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Golly, John. <laughs> so Wendell chimed in. He said, "You really got those eyes nailed." Well, thank you. Um, got a lot of a lot of a lot of people saying hello to Deborah. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Should we do a, a cheers in honor of the? Friends. We probably should. Oh, oh. you didn't talk about your cocktail you made. Oh, that's true. So. Oh, yeah. So, shall we? Brooke, sure. I'm going to yell at y'all make a it recipe for, for a cocktail. It's called um, the Purple Rain. Pur purple Rain. Mm. Um, oh, thank you. I mean, that'd be good. <laughs> She's we're going to be rolling Debbie out of here. <laughs> yeah, well, I actually, I got it from a buddy on Facebook. Is this what killed Prince? <laughs> <laughs> oh, too soon, too soon. No. <laughs> All right. So, well, he changed it up a little bit, so it oh, sorry, sorry. may not. I did, I did. It's supposed to have cran cranberry juice, and I substituted it for, for pomegranate. I didn't know it was hemlock. Sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, so what's in this? It's it's vodka, it's pom <laughs> pomegranate juice, blue blue Krakow, and um. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Um, <laughs> I didn't make it. No, I'm talking about no reference it. to print. No, <laughs> pineapple <laughs> juice. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. Okay. But it, it's so equal it's parts of everything except oh. for the the vodka, where you add a little more of that. And it's called purple rain. rain. She's so basically a purple haze Chin -chin. too. So if you ever have a Jimi Hendrix night. So everyone Cheers. join us. Chin Chin. To Prince. <laughs> My rest in peace. I'm gonna it. <laughs> it's fruity. Hey, John. Don't give up your day job. <laughs> well, <laughs> what you like? I think that I think the um, pomegranate made it a little bit different. It's tangier. It's a little hey. different. It's a little different. A little tangier. You get it. Yeah. The cranberry <laughs> would <laughs> probably yeah. So I'm well, also alone. also the pomegranate juice I have is real pomegranate juice. So Ooh. we're being healthy at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> right. There are yeah. some vitamins in there. That's all I'm saying. Wow, John. If you don't like the flavor, it's because you're just not used to vitamins. Okay. <laughs> Healthy <laughs> living. <laughs> that's, all, that's what we're about. Speaking of flavor, John, you were talking last week about the uh, paintings mm -hmm. that they were making up labor. They were creating wines from your paintings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh and you posted the new link, right? And I wanted yes. to know more about that, how that came to be. and. Oh, 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 that's, oh, that's a good a good question, Mom. Um, Thank you. Um. And I'm so bad at remembering anything, but I'll I'll try. And <laughs> Jackie can correct me when I go kind of completely oh, go I can off do front. That's her job. <laughs> <laughs> that is mine. No, no, wrong. <laughs> try again. <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> um, it, um, it, it, it's a it's it's a winery in, in California called Artis, and we're the show. Um, we're doing a show there, and the show is opening um, May twelfth, I think. Is that right? Um, May thirteenth. May 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 thirteenth, which is a private opening. Um, you know where the people have to buy <coughs> yeah. something for that. Uh, and where then, is and this winery? I'm sorry. It's oh, in it, Santa Barbara, California. Oh, yeah. oh. But um, we 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 were out there for the for the documentary um, for the documentary film mm -hmm. festival where they were showing John, mm -hmm. and um, and then we went back out. We were out there. We're doing we're doing different events, and Brian Rice is the owner of the place, and. Um, he liked the artwork, and what and what they try to do is to match um, artwork with the wine. Like like they'll come up with the mm -hmm. wine to match the artwork. Like right. You know. So 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 we did that, and um and they're and they're coming up. Um, he <coughs> did he did one for the, for the for a live painting that I was doing there, and and we we got to talking, and then they they came up with three 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 vintages that that that, that they're releasing um, in the middle of next month. So it's, it's three different wines and. Um, Mm. It's gonna be interesting. I can't. I can't yeah. wait to go out there and. Would they consider making a margarita? <laughs> <laughs> that would be your question. <laughs> yeah. Well, I should. I should. I should interrupt you really fast. We have a first-time watcher, um, um, deliberately creative Stephanie um, Bergeron. I don't know mm. if I'm pronouncing that right, but welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, thank you. And <clears throat> um, 
at Madonna Keeley. Don't go anywhere yet. Madonna <laughs> Keeley says, I'm so inspired. Tell Debbie hi from Sherry Tilden with Dr. Holmgreens. Oh, and thanks for Sherry. Wow. Okay, you can go make yourself a drink. <laughs> <Sherry. laughs> I've heard about you, Sherry. Okay, hi. Thanks, thanks so much for tuning in. That's, that's awesome. Man. So what, what are you working on now? So Sherry, mom, mom, mom has just left the, the building. <laughs> if you have any tidbits you want to tell us really quick, let us know. We won't tell her. <laughs> um, right, right now I'm working on on his on his jaw his jawline, and I'm just I'm just blocking in like so basically I'm just putting in black paint. I'm getting the rough shape, and I'm changing it a little bit. There's some areas that I didn't like um, that I was drawing in yesterday, and I was like, nope. So. <laughs> So, so there's some little areas that I'm fixing that I'm changing, but but mostly though, um, <coughs> I'm just kind of going in. This this area here is going to be an area where he has this. Prince always had this little mustache. We well, didn't always have it. Sometimes he had like this very he, it was 1970s like, stash. It was like sometimes. it was like a ten o'clock shadow. It, I mean, it wasn't like oh yeah. It, and it was, but there's uh, sometimes though it was right. almost like you know like he, he, had, he had a long like it was it was like 1970s yeah. very. But he thin also there. had that thin pencil line one yeah. for a while. Which yeah. Is the, what's that director? The weird. Uh, oh um. Uh, oh my gosh. John. John Waters. Yes. Uh, no, that's right. He had that the John Waters mustache. That's hard to pull off. For yeah, a while, it's hard to pull it. <laughs> Dude, and yeah. if anyone can do it, <laughs> he it could would be it Prince. <clears throat> I'm not surprised that, that that you don't that you like Prince and, and Bruno Mars. You know they're you they're, both, they're both these little, little oh guys. well maybe that's what you're into. <laughs> but why? What? They're beautiful. Well, they are. Well, yeah. I mean, both are. And great. have you listened to the lyrics of their music? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Ugh. I'm not faulting you. <laughs> can't even deal right now. <laughs> I think that that was actually probably the best thing about about Prince was that um, he was uh, I mean he he was like a true artist in the fact that he played every single instrument. He um, it, when he recorded all his music, he you know, he was recording it uh, all the different instruments. He wrote the music, he wrote he wrote a ton of hits that you would never guess were, he, I mean, Manic Monday, they said wrote some he stuff for Madonna, Love Song, I mean, just... 36 it was crazy. albums or yeah. something like that. It, it's insane. Yeah, the he, amount he was a true artist. I mean, unlike, like, what, like, this week, like, you, you had an experience with your kids where you were just like, oh, my ah! gosh, and, and I was like, no, oh, I couldn't yeah. even, oh. I wrote yeah. about that on so, Facebook. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm upset, because I just find out that Prince has died, and I'm like, Ugh. and one of my students is like, who's Prince? Oh. <laughs> and a little bit of you died that and, day. Yeah, a little bit of me inside, and I just put The Prince of what? <laughs> and a gray hair sprouted, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I put my head in my hands, and I, al I almost did cry, and, um, and then, so someone decided to play um, a little bit of Purple Rain, and she's, oh, that's like, that's like old music. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. And, was, oh. and so, luckily, luckily, the bell was about to ring, <laughs> and so we were about to be out of school. So I just, I just sat there. She took the you fell, you fell, you fell. <laughs> I got this. I can do this. I can do this. How old are your kids? I'm a Seniors in high school. <gasps> oh, my Seniors. God. And this one's Shocking. about to have a oh. baby. Oh, what? Wow. Yes. Oh, really? So, Yay. Oh, wow. You know, shocking. But, but you know. Oh, John, it's coming together. So it's 7.35, babe. Let me know when you want to do technical oh, difference. Oh, thank you. What a difference a drunk makes. Yeah. <laughs> That's out. beautiful. Well, you're, doing, <laughs> well, you're doing two of them. Man. We're talking. That's incredible. <laughs> They're in triplicate. Princess. You're in princess. <laughs> Love you. That's funny. Did Prince have any children? He didn't. You should he, know. Well, <laughs> Did you have a child yeah. by him? <laughs> what I what I heard was that I, I don't know I don't know the factualities mm -hmm. of this is that there was a child bur born but it was not formed correctly. They like, oh. ended up dying. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the with his first wife. I, I don't know. I, I I'm just. Yeah, that rings a bell. And that um, that's she that's has carried as well. Mm. Well, that is a shame. Um, I still though, have dreams. <laughs> well, well feeds me. on the. <laughs> 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 well, 
on the on the <laughs> chat, um, Owen chimed in and, and was reminding us that the soundtrack of well, obviously he did the soundtrack of Purple Rain, but he did Batman, which oh, um, yeah. he did yeah. win an Academy Award for, I believe. And yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, Owen. Batman thinks, yeah. song that's ridiculous. That. That's awesome. Well, the rest of the songs were good, but everyone is like, God, did you hear that one song? Yeah. Really? Well, Come wasn't yeah. was Kim Bassinger in that? Yes. Uh -huh, yeah, and that's where was. he met her. In that, I mean, I oh, you were telling me the other day that he yeah, was by her for a while. Yeah, they were together for quite a while. Well, well, sorry, mm. but. They <laughs> were. <laughs> 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 No, but they were they were together a long time. Wow, really? And I hate to I bring didn't know that I, know I hate to bring Joe back in the conversation after his little red Lynn <laughs> comment, but he was telling me yesterday a real interesting story about Prince and that was that Prince's father evidently was a famous magician. Did you know that? He was, you know, and really? um, there's a lot of facts that you don't yeah, know. Yeah, but about that, but what's not. what's interesting about this is that Joe was telling me, and I'm sure he'll correct me if I can get my facts wrong, but <laughs> is that um, he did not want he wouldn't play his guitar in front of his father. Really? Really? Because his, yes, because his father was such a good musician that he didn't feel oh. like he could measure up. Interesting. Oh. And did oh. you know that Prince was very very shy? Yeah. Yeah, I heard oh. that. Yeah. Well, you can tell it by when his manner, not, but when I he's thought, not on stage, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, even on stage, he would seem kind of, I mean, of course, he was so out there, you couldn't hardly call him shy, but yet there was something about him that yeah. was... Well, Owen chimed in. He said, uh, "Yes, he ha he did have a child that died after oh, a week okay. after childbirth. So that is wow. true." Okay. Um, wow. I, I'm going to well, turn on this. It's going to get a little loud. Yeah. Um, I could turn off my mic, but. So. And he, oh, and uh, Sharon Baldock chimed in and said his mother was a jazz singer too. That wow. she oh, so wow. I mean, well, I, with those guys, I mean, he's so That's talented. You, you got, I know, you got to have the genes. I mean, so. when you can hit this. <laughs> oh, and, and to, Tony uh, said Prince Rogers, and who performed with a jazz group called the Prince Rogers was his dad. Okay, uh, Prince okay. Rogers. Mm. Cool. Very cool. Look yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for all the information, guys. This is fascinating. That is cool. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Well, if you want, we we could do the technique of the week. I could let that. Oh. I could let this dry a little. Yay! All right, ready? <laughs> Dance it out. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get ready for it. Of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Always makes me laugh with Jack. <laughs> with, with Jack on that, and um, we we have him on on, on the, the the movie night. We we, we play we play um, B, B movies every so often, and we we have, we have a movie night thing. And it has Jack laughing when he's a little baby at the very end oh, of it. Yeah, so, oh, he almost like choked this. I don't know. <laughs> but, like the, but but the technique of the week. Um, I've got this Prince painting going, and. The way that like the old the old masters would, would work on um, a painting a lot of times is they would start to try to to block it out. So instead of just working on um, I don't know like a lot of subtleties, you know where you know it's a lot of shading and all that right right away, you would just put in big blocks of color. So like for prints right here, you know um, here I'll, I'll do this down here. Um, I'm, I'm going to add some yellow and it's just going to be a big a big block block of color. And maybe I'll leave it, or maybe I'll, I'll I'll cover it up later. But it's just a way of, of of filling in the image, of putting in different tones, and it makes a way where where you can you, you can actually construct your your painting in a much faster, in a simpler way. Because I can put this here, and, I, and I'm blocking it out. And I'm not wasting a lot of time doing a, a bunch of shading and stuff. You know, I'm not. Spending a ton of time with that, you know, I've got I got this whole little area almost done now, and um, and I you know I I can think about it, I can think is that a good thing, is it a bad thing, and um, you know if I like it, I can keep up with it, and I can, I can get different tones. So that one one way that a lot of painters will do this is is they'll do it with the same color. So like you'll they'll do it with a burnt sienna or an umber, or or a lot of times a black and white. So it's, so it's it's a grayscale sort of thing. So that you're not having to think about a lot of different colors at one time. You're only thinking about the lightness to darkness. Um, I do that sometimes. I do the grayscale. But a lot of times I'll pick a color for the lightness and darkness. And I'll think, well, you know, I want, I want this area to be 
like this this area and this area is going to be in the ba the same about amount of shadow. So I'm going to use the same color for this. And later, if I don't like it, I'll, I'll take it away. But I'm choosing these colors based on music um, that Fred's played. When I hear music, I see color. So I'm just taking colors that I hear from his music. And instead of doing it grayscale the way the old, the old masters would have, <coughs> I'm, ju I'm just adding my own little twist to it. Um, but it's a lot of fun, too. So it's just a way that if, if, you're work if you want to work on a painting that is a little more complex than what you're used to, don't worry about the details of it. You know, don't worry about trying to get every little bit right. In fact, if you look at a lot of paintings, um, I, have, I have one painting called Ode, Ode, Ode Audrey, and it's of a person's face. And when you look at it, I think most people think the face looks right. It looks normal. It's like a person's face. You can look at that, you know, oh, it's a woman's face. If you just look at the nose, and that's all you can see of the painting, it's just that little bit of the nose, you would never think that was a nose, the weird, the weird shapes of it. But... One of the things that I do in my painting is I try, I try to simplify things. So I'm just putting in the very basics of what, of what you need, really. So just any more lines, like if I could take away a line, um, you know, it would, it, would, it, would, it would break the painting in a way. So when you're blocking in, it's just a really quick way to form things up. And one of the ways that I, that I draw, that I, I try to illustrate when I'm blocking in, is try to make it as simple as possible. It's almost like if you're writing a poem where every word counts. You take one word out and it breaks it. So like this, if I took this line out where his nose is, you know, even part of it, it's not going to look right. Or if I take one of the lines out of his eye, it's not going to look right. So I'm just putting in the basic lines that I need. So if you do that, you can simplify any image down to where it's a lot easier. You're just looking at it. You're looking at the, the basic colors. And um, it, it makes it a little bit easier. We can break something apart. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier and um, uh, about just like the simple breakdown of, of lines and everything. And a good way to start in that area if you're new to art or, or you know, just wanting to try some things out is like cartooning books. Yeah, that, yeah. that will give you that that could give you like a real good um, <coughs> just beginner sort of understanding of like you know this you know this makes a nose or you know this is angry eyebrows and this is whatever and and uh, I mean just to simplify it if you're you know well Jackie how ironic that you said that because that was the part really. That was how John started. Oh, John, do you remember the oh, cartoon cool. book I bought oh, you? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's fine. Uh, in fact, I think we still have it. I remember the, the little Did he draw in it? That or was it just a like an, an instructional? Uh, did he draw in it? Yeah. Oh, he used it. you can fill in the... No, he used it. I mean, it showed you how to make different... Yeah, 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 that's cool. Yeah, I still have the first. Yeah. I have his first drawing, a monkey. That is really good. <laughs> that's that, cool. That, that, is, that is wonderful, guys. And that's, that's, that's uh -huh. so cool, too, because... A lot of times, I think I think people think of cartoons being simple, or like beneath them or yeah. something. But it is a great way to learn basic form and function of a face, of an um, arm, how to how to draw an an anatomy in a real sort of way. Mm -hmm. um, and and also car caricature mm -hmm. is really good because the whole the whole whole idea for those guys is to be able to draw something very very quickly. And actually, a lot of the techniques that they use in that. Um, I don't I, I don't do that, that that type of painting, but I use some of the techniques when I'm feeling a person's face or mm -hmm. or whatever to be to be able to break it down. So some of the compositional techniques. Um, yeah, that's great. You know, it's it's. And another you know, irony is is that whenever he drew. It's echo. Whenever John. Oh, is Echo trying to get in here? Echo's trying to open the door. Echo's at the door. Heard the door. That. Mm, <laughs> that's either Jack. Jack, a ghost, or Echo. <laughs> she's she her her. She's, her little nose. Her big she's nose. trying to like open oh, the door. Oh, maybe Prince is coming. Yeah. I don't know. But whenever awesome. I whenever I gave so, John that book <laughs> and he drew, <laughs> you know, I thought, my God, he can really draw. I had no idea really what was to come. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm. and we were cleaning out the shed a while back, and he um pulled out some drawings, and they uh. They have like just birds and stuff Echo. like that, and I thought that was Echo. pretty cool. Oh, really? So. Oh, yeah, back whenever he um, flew pigeons. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I guess so. I, I guess forgot about that. Out. That's right. Some of my Here. favorite TV shows are cartoons. So. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> there you go. So. <laughs> so you get so um, Echo's had a. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say, I, I just threw a treat to Echo. She's had a long day of. El El elementary school kids, so she definitely wanted so she, in here. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, yeah, she does that every week. She kind of wanders and she doesn't like to, to be separated. No, she's sweet mm. baby. 
Uh, well, what, what this is my st um, uh, st uh, deliberately creative ha has says, hey all, hey all, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Um, oh yeah. So th thank you for the reminder. Oh. oh, thanks so much. You know, and that and that actually makes it. You know, I, thanks so much for saying that. Cause y'all never say that. I know. I know. We're, 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 we're there are some things that we just we, we need to get better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's cool so. because this this is so much fun. It's it's so much fun to get on here and chat and see what everybody wants to talk about. And to be able to, to do the paintings and stuff and um, um yeah and, and I have to say really fast speaking of great news Valerie who t who tunes in regularly awesome um got some awesome news Wednesday um that her very first grandchild will be making an mm. entrance in the world November thirteenth congratulations so congrats. Yeah. Woo oh, that's that? awesome that is wonderful way to go yay well what what is, what is the date. November thirteenth is the oh my date. Goodness. So, how exciting! The dance exciting. And so it's on. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder if they're going to find out if it's a boy or girl, or if they're going to wait. You see, yeah, um, that's a good question. Are, are you guys? Are you know? Are you going to find out the sex, or or if they're going to wait till it's born? I don't know. I don't know. We definitely wanted to know. <laughs> hey, Echo. Echo, come here, girl. Oh, no, I'm yes, we did. No, she, she's, she's making noise. Yeah. Sorry. I was um, making out with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh, man. Um, that, that is awesome. Man. That's a I have slobber all over me now. <laughs> so what, so what, like what colors do you think you're going <laughs> to add into the, um, the hair and stuff? I don't know. Um... It is awesome, John. Watch oh, your head. Thank you. Um, um, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I might I might have to get my head up there if you want to take that camera off. I, I don't know. Because yeah. it's so it's so much of the time. <laughs> I, I mean, I have a choice. That's cool. Okay. What other what so so then what what's like the next color you think mm -hmm. you're gonna add? Probably orange. I'll probably go, oh, cool. go, go to orange and I uh, also want to do a pink. So I'm gonna do this up really quick. So we turn the, the camera back on if I can remember where I am. Oh, Valerie chimed in. She said, "Knowing her, n knowing her son, they'll find out." What? What? Oh, what <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, and Owen said he used to draw like Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, and Sue Clark wants to know if prints will be available for purchase as a print. Yes, yes, it will. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, well, if he turns out. And um, it's the thing with art, and failure is always an option. So <laughs> <laughs> you never know. But you can yeah. always, fixing it is always also an option because it's somebody else on the painting yeah. it. Because you were talking about making it thick, so might as well. <laughs> then maybe they'll x ray it and see what you can <laughs> There you yeah, go. Like, what was he doing? <laughs> Let's go back to what we were wow. talking about. And Metville uh, <laughs> <laughs> chimed in and said um, they have trouble drawing stick figures. So. Oh. You know, we welcome all levels of expertise. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and it's it's um that's that's funny. You know, that's that's true. And you know, a lot of times, somebody thinks if they can't draw a stick figures, they they can't paint or they can't do art. And um, and sometimes it's true. I mean, I, I don't know. I can't sing, but I love music. I mean, I could sing, but I I, I sing very poorly. <laughs> it's anything anybody would want to hear. Um, but I mean, you know, I I can play around and try, but I mean. But you know, if 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 realistic type of painting is isn't your forte, you know, you know, it, you know, there might just be a, a different kind, or there might be a different type of art. Like I love sculpture, and I love like pots that have been thrown and all this sort of stuff. But oh my goodness! So how do you feel work. about when people <laughs> say if you cannot do like a portrait, if you can't do realistic paintings? Um, and you only do abstract. You're not a real artist if you can't. Or if you're not capable of doing that. I've never. Heard, I'm. Oh. I'm. I'm never. Really? Mm. Yeah, I've never heard anybody if you, say that. Because if you could only do abstract, you're, you're supposed to be able to master the art, and mastery is. Oh, I don't know. Well, that I sounds so backwards. I've never. I can't oh, remember ever. I don't even. Especially even in college, where it's so free thinking, and people uh -huh. put a slab of uh, see, whatever I it all the time. It sounds like, like somebody that just does does portraits, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, yeah. somebody that can only do I portraits. Know, I know abstract art. I think <laughs> I think that if you can't paint prints in two hours, you shouldn't even call and yourself an artist. Exactly. <laughs> I hope I get this done in two hours, but no, 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 no,
But <laughs> there are people out there that think that if you can't paint realistically, if you are not capable, then mm. well, well, you're not. Well, that's you crazy. know, whenever I tell somebody that John's an artist and that he's blind, and I'll always say, it's not abstract. I know what you're thinking. It's not <laughs> <abstract>. <laughs> you know, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know. Here's my triangle. Because, well, yeah. really, though, I mean, if you were blind, you would you know, you wouldn't think about somebody doing portraits well, yeah. or realist, you know, so that's mm -hmm. why I always say that, but yeah, I definitely. guess I kind of diminish, you know, the abstract painting too, though. I'll so I, I did mm -hmm. go to the art museum and there was um, a bunch of wadded up newspapers in a corner. Yeah, that's what I don't Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, it, I guess it really could pick them. <laughs> and it's like, how? Yeah. Why? Yeah. And, uh, um, it is because they ask because I ask those questions mm -hmm. and it makes it hard. Mm -hmm. That's true. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Stephanie says <laughs> how silly that would be. There's so many kinds of art in the world. That would exactly. be ridiculous. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And then um, Metville t uh, chimed in and, and said, Life is full of people who tell you you can't do this or that. You just have to prove them wrong. That's right. Yeah. So That's cool. That's right. That's yeah, really man. good. I agree. Who was that? I agree as well. Metville. Why do you call Metville? Who was that? <laughs> Uh, did, did we do this on the show, or were, or were we talking about Prince earlier when it was like Rain, rain Harder? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we do yeah. that on this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I, 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 I spent the, the day with the elementary kids when I'm going to that purple. How much of that purple rain if you Yeah, really. <laughs> 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 yeah, we have another one. So, do you guys want to start the the, the webcast? <laughs> let's get this going. Yay. Have we started? Yeah, have we started it? <laughs> Man, we started it. What time is it? About 8 o'clock? Yeah, it's about 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's about 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's about 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's so, oh, I said, Ooh, but you know, if you ended that painting now, John, it would be so realistic, and anybody would be able to look at it oh, and well. say that it was. Oh, we're done tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Um, no. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah. Mar Marilyn chimed in and said, "You need to use purple." A couple of people have chimed in and yeah, and, and oh. exclamation mark purple, wait, guys. Oh, I know. So, the, so I imagine. Surely. You gotta wait for the. You're, you're, you realize that now you've built this up and you have to wow us with this use of purple. Really? Oh, I don't know. The, the I told you going in. I was like, this has got to include like just. The, that's his favorite color. Ever. You know, like the, I even talks about it. The purple. <laughs> well, and, and let me say this: the um, the use of purple in here is gonna be very subtle. There's not gonna be a ton of purple because it'll make the painting very dark. And he's a very bright guy. Yeah. Sure. Sure. But that's dark. but that's why there's there there's so much yellow in the painting because because yellow is a complementary color uh, purple, mm. so the color that I put in there okay. should should be a little brighter and it, you should notice it a little bit more, um, and then the yellow should like should lighten the whole the whole thing up. That's the idea. We'll see. You could throw some purple in his afro. Well, yeah, he exactly, that. exactly. That's what what? I, was, it is. <laughs> I mean, I think it would would be great. Oh, yeah. How you do? You, you know, you should show. Do. You should show some of your other. The uh, well, I know you're you're really trying to get this one done, but mm -hmm. some of the latest you've done like three paintings this week of oh, other the, the, musicians. Well, yeah. Well, I've done four. Yeah. Four and and you've throw you've strategically used color in some really interesting spots that um, are already all black, and then you would go in with a palette knife, which I love that technique that you do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, if you had purple uh, rain coming down? on there you go. Purple. How about that? That could be good. That could be good. I asked him if he was going to put him in a purple frock coat. That's the first time I ever saw him, he was in a purple yeah, coat. Yeah, with the big ruffles and stuff. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that'd be hard to do with just a face. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, yeah, I mean, and I think you're going to do another one, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I, I want to. Um, like, tomorrow I'm going to be in Missouri, and then, um, um, and then when it, whenever I get back Sunday night, um, uh, the Den the Denton Arts and Jazz is going to be next next weekend. So if anybody's in the DFW area, mm. oh my goodness! And and I'm a featured artist in, in there. They they feature like two painters, oh. um, a year and in, in, in like some musicians, Hi. like a couple. So, uh, so um. I didn't know that. Yeah. You didn't know they did it, or you didn't know he was going to either. Do it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know they did it either. Until what I, does that entail, John? Whenever you're um, a featured artist. Do are you like on posters, no, no, you're just like, well, they, they, you're just like an article. There's yeah, oh, there's like wow. at, at the festival, there's be, and in the newspaper, there's a pamphlet that that's um, uh, distributed that uh -huh. has like all the festival stuff, the time frames and all that, and then it's you know it's like a, a you know mini newspaper. So you have an article and some photos on that, which that's is cool. Awesome. 
cool. Arts really and Jazz is always a really good one. So, mm-hmm. yeah, anybody that's close to the DFW area, it's a great festival. Mm-hmm. And hopefully awesome. it won't be a complete mud pit. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is be a like, it, we're it. supposed to get more, more. Right? I know. So, I, I don't want like, to talk about know. it. I know. But it's okay, though. It'll be <laughs> well, okay. It, and we did, I mean, last year, year before last, it was the same thing. And that, that channel that goes under the bridge that everyone oh. crosses, and it's always in like Venice. Just, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, the, the, the water was just the same. <laughs> I'm going to have boat rides. Why are you throwing all your paintbrushes? I don't know. It's just, it's the it's theme of the night. Throw 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 your paintbrushes at people. But it, um, Everybody I used to it. take Lola, my little dog, mm. and now she'll just get stepped on. Oh. <laughs> it's like there's too, yeah. there's so That's many You think it's gotten more popular? Oh, it's, it's, it's really? not yeah. a, with John and I, before we started working it, we actually stopped going to it for a couple of years because it was just too packed. Yeah. It's, so, it's so crowded. Oh, yeah, it's really and crowded now, but I thought maybe you meant in right before it wasn't. Oh, it, was, it wasn't. It was about eight years ago, it was getting nuts. And it's now continued to be nuts. You know, yeah. Denton is such a well, it's artsy growing. town. Really. And yeah. I, I wonder if they will eventually move it even to a bigger location. No, I, I don't think so. Really? Mm-mm. Where would they move it? In yeah, Denton? it's a Denton thing. You mean I to mean, another locale, another city? A or? bigger, do we have a bigger place in Denton that we can do that? I don't, I don't know, know where it would be <laughs> in Denton. <laughs> well, hey, I'm going to go over to the chat for a second. Okay. Oh. Um, we have, uh, Cheryl Seussman, who's joined us, um, uh, might be your first time watching it. The, 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 ch- the chat goes by fast, so if I don't get your comment, or I'm doing it out of context, sorry, I'm just trying to catch up, but, um, uh, she said she likes the camera setup. Um. Thank you. And, uh, let's see, Metville said that, um, she was stuck in traffic the other day and uh, the other night and it was pouring rain and this guy was purple oh. um and they had to take a video for the facebook because it was really cool oh, wow. oh so nice. very cool and owen said you could add shades of purple <laughs> yeah, yeah shades of purple, in, the, man. in the shadows <laughs> yeah well i was thinking because oh, what, yeah. what, what, what i'm doing right now is just blocking in color so it's not necessarily the colors are going to be all, all there i mean like they're, they're going to be colors over these colors so I'm just blocking in the color, but once these colors are down, I can go in with a paint knife and and add add in a lot a lot more. So what I'm imagining with this painting, and I'm not really going to be able to finish it in the in the two hours, but I'm hoping to get it completely blocked in, so at least you can see the basic form of it. But then okay. when, once this dries, I'll I'll go back in with a paint knife and I'll work in a bunch of different colors over it. Very but cool. it, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, but it makes it nice. So like you know, so right now I'm just blocking in a bunch of different colors. And I bet it's about time for art news. Oh gosh, here we go. Art news. So that so this is <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, look at prints. Nope, oh, nope. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> that's the news. We moved last. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so in this segment, what we're gonna do is um. We're going to go over a few stories. Um, we're doing this a little different than last week. Last week, John joined me on the couch, and this week, we're just kind of staying in our spot, and we're going to uh, just just, <laughs> just go with the flow, Hang man. Out. Go yeah. with the flow. Let's so, <laughs> so, all right. Well, some of you might know that uh, today is uh, Earth Day, Okay. I didn't know that. It is Earth Day. In fact, the only reason why I know is because Jack brought home school projects that were oriented with that, and I was like, hey, it's going to be Earth Day. Let's <laughs> <laughs> pick up some trash. I just thought more about it if the press thing happened. Oh, right. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it would. Well, and tonight, for I mean, because we were talking about Earth Day, whatever, tonight there's supposed to be a pink full moon for anybody that wants to go. Oh. Yeah, I saw it on uh, Facebook, said it, so it's got to be trash. I saw that. Yeah. It was a drug. I thought it was a joke. So anyway, anyway, um, this weekend wraps up the 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 last um, bit of the biennial um, photo fest in Houston, and the piece that is on the screen right now that you guys are looking at is by an artist named um, Dornith Doherty, and it is called Acacia. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And um, I'm the reason why I thought this was interesting was because it's Earth Day and. They did all in uh, Houston at PhotoFest, which I've been to way back in the day, and actually Dornith was one of my professors, a photography professor, 
way back in the day. And, um, <laughs> maybe yesterday. I don't know. And um, anyway, um, so this year they had uh, 34 artists included in Changing Circumstances, Looking at the Future of the Planet. Um, and it was curated by the executive director, Stephen Evans, and co-founders, Wendy uh, Watcher, Waitress and Frederick, Frederick Baldwin. So um, anyway, I thought this was interesting because I just knowing Dorneth and, and her being um, my old professor and everything, um, she her work is actually pretty interesting. Uh, and I was in photography, so it's not painting. Sorry, guys. But um, <laughs> um, she did this this pr this series called Archiving Eden, which I'm, some of you might have heard of, but they've got these massive seed banks all over the world. And she did a giant photo. She's one of the few people that are allowed in, in these places to photograph these, um, these seed banks. And you'll see the image on the screen right now is um, a particular seed bank. I think it's overseas. I'm not sure where exactly it is. But um, inside these places, they, they just have every seed that has come from any plant and they're they're keeping uh, them they're they're they're, oh they're they're archiving them oh. in case of of climate change like in case right. it's you know so we're all going to die have, so <laughs> right so it's it, so she has some work out there uh -huh. that's really fascinating and um, it's every just plant? document no, every no. single seed Pot, they can come across. Everything? Ever. <laughs> yes, everything. Oh everything they can come across. <laughs> yeah. So, so, um, so what about the banana? Everything? <laughs> well, it's, you know what's funny? This is totally off topic, and we'll move on in a second. But what's interesting about this it being seeds is that just, oh, and we might have talked about this in a few shows ago, but they actually, um, it, some archaeologists discovered some pottery and they opened it up and it had seeds pottery. of an of an extinct <laughs> plant that has never existed before and they grew it and it's these giant squash that people have never seen before oh, yeah. i know i was like that is That's such a really trip cool. <laughs> such a trip yeah. anyway anyway so it's her day but so oh, but weird. if everyone's gone who's going to germinate them well the idea is to <laughs> is to keep it alive almost as if like we had the technology back in the dinosaur ages and we kept their dna i mean we would be able to clone them you know what i mean so right. you're able to grow this plant again so even if it, it's wiped out humans on earth well yeah they're not gonna i mean what would be yeah what of course would be the <laughs> what would they know there? exactly how to do that yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so it's just if, if the plants were lost like you know you know like 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 i know like for potato or like corn and there's some some different commercial crops where they're reducing it down to one strain or yeah few, right so, so if it ever gets a blight, we lose all that. And if we don't keep, if we don't store that. Yeah. You just want to have, you know, whatever. Yeah, the a whole, whole strain yeah, of corn is gone forever. Yeah. It'll, it'll be weird, like you know, you want yeah. kids, and they'll say, you know, oh, what's corn? What are, yeah. what are, what are corn tortillas? What, yeah. What are, it's interesting. What are Fritos? You know, you're like, oh, come on. <laughs> Let's hope it What are Fritos? What are you nuts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so why would more like Frito pies? Ooh, Frito pie. Oh, it would be a sad day when we don't have those. Anyway, so um, also what was interesting that came out this week, and I'm sure everybody heard about it, was that they are changing the face of the twenty dollar bill. Ooh, um, oh no. Long time yes. coming. They're fi they're finally putting a woman on the twenty dollar oh, bill. It's oh, Harriet great. Tubman. Right. Um, but they're not technically removing oh. Jackson. They're putting right. him on the other side because. I thought they were going to make it. Of course they are. Well, <laughs> and, and a lot of people have talked about this because he uh. was a slave owner and that it's kind of a shun to him. Like, like well, she's on the front and he's on yeah. the back. Yeah. That kind of I thing. I think more of it is that they just didn't want to do away with him completely. I don't know. Regardless, but n politics a aside. Politics, politics yeah. aside, because we're not a politics show. Well, but um, it's Yeah, but we're, yeah. <laughs> But Let's what made what made this concept what made this interesting to me was how does the art of the dollar bill come about like how how do they I mean because we uh, you know fellow artists out there you submit you know a bunch of portfolio pieces and then uh, your client decides or you have a pool of artists submit and one artist is chosen so I'm very curious how this process works and um, so I was I was doing some reading up on it and and on art new on art news dot news um the uh spokesperson for the u.s treasury um oh wait he didn't want to give too much information apparently this is still way early in the works yeah. even though they've announced it um but he said that uh, it's much more complicated than enlisting a few single visual artists 
Right. So, and I know that the the portrait that they've chosen was in a collection of this particular photographer's art. Do in, you know in which portrait they chose? Because I've seen multiple different portraits. Um, well, there's an image okay. on the screen for you guys, and this okay. was the portrait that that according to the story right now might be Ooh, just okay. the head of her youth. Okay. It's just the head of her youth. And so um, I don't know if that, how that's coming about or anything, but um, and then according to the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, in-house in banknote designers work together to develop multiple concepts for new currency before the Secretary of Treasury approves the designs. Um, so it's a group of engravers that they, they create a 3D rendering um, and, uh, of the proposed bill. And um, they uh, basically, it's a, it's a series of all these artists that come together. It's it's portrait artists, um, people that work with script, and all of this. So it's not one artist that just gets the, all the glory. Apparently, right. it's it's like a bunch of people that probably sit around in suits around a boardroom and just decide that um, Serif looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Which, use Comic Sans. Comic Sans. Let's use Comic Sans for everything. Anyway, so um, That's cool. it, it, but regardless, it, it's interesting, and I, I went on Wikipedia because you know that's the all knowing. And um, <laughs> if you ever, if you're curious about the dollar bill or how that works, it, there's a ton of information about how, like, why they, you know, why they're printed in green and all this sort of oh, stuff. But I won't get into that. It's interesting. Um, but check it out. Colors, aren't they? Yeah. Well, the twenty dollar bill was the first bill to actually get color, and it was right. because it was because of. Um, uh, and they're doing the purples and the green. The, yeah. They're starting to do more. Colors. Yeah, yeah, they're doing more colors, and, it, and it's counterfeiting. It's to avoid yeah. counterfeiting. This way. Hmm. So regardless, um, it's supposed to be unveiled in 2020, which, um, yeah, which is fitting because that is the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage. It's so far away. But it's the 100th an anniversary of oh, you, you know how government works. It's a snail's pace. <laughs> Was That's that actually it? really speedy because in the article it said 2030, and they were like, wow, 2020, guys. Mm -hmm. Because of women's suffrage. Okay. Yeah, anyway, wow. it's government. Yeah. So, um, there's but it, that. But it takes a while. <laughs> Anything with money, like I, I, was, I was watching some, some documentaries on money, and it takes a long time Anything to change things. Because, it is. It, it does. Because they have so much in, in current, I mean, just, just out and about, they have to, to bring that in, and they have to bring, you know, yeah. start letting yeah. the new out, and it just takes a while to... Yeah. Seems so far away. Yeah, yeah, but but it'll well, be tomorrow there. before you know it. <laughs> so, um, okay, moving on. This is and uh, finally, I thought this was interesting for anybody that saw it a couple of days ago in the in the um, in the New York Post ran a story with the headline, which I thought <laughs> this is hilarious. When you're so rich, you don't notice your Picasso is missing. Okay. Oh my God. I found okay. <laughs> this is apparently the story is that um, huh. this uh, woman realized that uh, I guess what seven nine years later that a Picasso she had in her collection was missing because a, a Florida gallery was going to was was about to sell it and um, anyway it's it, <laughs> I, apparently the story I, I, can't, I, just I know okay how do you have so much money and it, her her lawyer basically said um, that. They have a significant art uh, collection of art, and so that's that's I mean so significant that you just I mean but that's okay I understand that's whatever you know you really? got they're stacked they're in a closet I mean I've heard of people hoarding things but it's usually like newspapers that's, that's or when they end up in the attic. Or something Remember, like, I know like last week, week yeah like, that, that's yeah. when they end up yeah, in the attic Caravaggio you don't that, know was, how much that was that was ridiculous you have, yeah. and they you're well, just look like, at hey, all just look at all the things that the attic lost. You know? Oh, yeah. We're not supposed to talk about that. <laughs> well, I mean, you know the things that he's. That yeah. He's see, I'm about. hoarding them. I'm hoarding them. So I'm, putti I'm putting them away so that they'll be worth millions that's later. Seriously, that's when you just end up moving a whole stack to the attic and you don't realize what you moved. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's true. Other things for hundred years later. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So uh, anyway, that is, I mean, it, it apparently this doesn't go into court or litigation or whatever until May 10th and, and for now the painting is in a warehouse being stored or whatever but um, mm -hmm. w apparently the story was that um, the son of the woman didn't, the son of the woman received a call oh. saying that from the buyer saying I'm about to buy a painting that belonged to your dad and the son was oh. like I don't remember huh. him ever selling that <laughs> and so then they backtracked it and apparently oh um, 
apparently, uh, let's see what happened. The, uh, the clean, oh, okay. The cleaning lady sold it to a Miami oh company in 2013. And, oh. <laughs> and, awesome. and she <laughs> then, um, to Miami. I, I know. I, I, I mean, some, <laughs> it's in Miami LLC. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, you know, but the, the, Anyway, so and then of course, then the, this Florida Florida gallery ends up with it, and they're they're trying to unload it, and who knows if, if they don't they don't know the full backstory because there's I guess not a not the appropriate documentation. That's yeah. crazy. But um, That's yeah, I mean, and who knows how much this thing is worth, and wow. you know, We're so it's it's. Check and show I know, we need to go to some flea markets. This yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah, really? <laughs> really? Some estate sales and handle up, man. Yeah. Although then it would probably be stolen and we'd be in court. So, <laughs> who knows? Uh, well. still end up yeah. with something. Really? For a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so um, <laughs> that has been the art news. Yay! Art news. Art news. <laughs> I'm just watching the art news like it's Wayne World. Art news, art news. Art news. Yeah, art news. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ne next time, ne <laughs> next time we're gonna add the Law and Order like doom doom. Way to go, guys. <gasps> <laughs> that was some awesome art news. <laughs> that was so awesome. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Dun dun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. really. It's iconic. And then you know it's done. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're you. Bum bum. So let's get over to Prince here. I, I see some purple. I am oh, loving it. Oh, what? thanks. I'm loving it. We got some purple. Tell us about it. Thank you. I've adorned Prince with some purple. Wow. <laughs> as well as some pink. Prince is wearing a basic spring purple. It's <laughs> 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 done by Bramblet. He has autumn skin, but I think he can pull the winter off if we really try it. <laughs> now, um, I, I'm adding a little, little purples and some pinks in here, and... Um, and uh, just, you know, I want, to, I want to lighten it up. I want to play around with the colors a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and there's actually going to be some more colors in here that I'm not putting right now. I'm just sort of blocking in the color. Oh, and and I, know, I know, like, Bob Ross would do a painting in 30 minutes. It was, like, amazing and crazy. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was well, all happy. It was all very happy. Did, he probably didn't do prints in 30 minutes. Well, that's yeah. true. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, Mom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take that, Bob. No, I, I love Bob Ross, but, but this, this is going to be a little bit different. Um, th this is more of an old-style technique. Like I was saying, like we're going we're gonna to work on some, te some techniques of the masters. And when I start, first started painting, I started painting with oil paints because I wanted to paint like the masters. And I read about techniques that Caravaggio would use, Titian would use, you know, Van Gogh, or... Van Gogh, if you, yeah, you know. um, and all, all these different things. So, so that's a lot of the techniques that I've used. But then I, I fused it with some stuff that I'm in, interested in, and um, and some modern techniques. So this is basically the way that an old old master would have worked up a painting. But instead of using the colors, he probably would have just left with a grayscale or the burnt sienna or something. Oh. So you know, so it's, but it's a way that you can mix it up because, for me, I don't I don't want to end up with a very dark painting. But there's some paintings like let me show you something really quick. Um, I'm really liking his mouth. Yeah, it looks awesome. Well, thank you. This this is a Johnny Cash. Mm. Um, yeah, scoot it up about two inches. No, forward. Forward. Oh. There you go. John, no, John, Joe's still waiting for Waylon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did Willie. He's oh, in there. Yeah, you need to go. He's in, he's in the art bag. I, I took him to the elementary oh. school. When did you do that? I let, I let about 150 yeah. kids touch Willie to today. today. I almost had yeah. a really bad thing. Like, I almost let 150 kids touch my, you know. Willie. Yes. I caught it just right before I said John, when did you do that? Johnny Cash. It looks, um, looks I like a Tuesday, I think. It looks like a portrait. I mean, it looks like a. I'm on a uh, yeah. I'm on a I'm on a painting a day marathon. I mean, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like a picture. I mean, it looks like a photo. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. Well, if I don't finish the prints today, um, wow. I do. I do. I do have um, another painting that I've done that I, that I, that'll be my painting for the day that I've finished. So yeah. how many days are you doing that? Joe told me today you were doing a painting a day, but I thought you finished that. Well, I don't know. Van Gogh or Van Gogh, if you want to do it, like the Dutch, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Van Gogh. Van Gogh. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to go. I mean, I'm saying like that, but um, I'm going to do it as long as long as I as I can. How long have you been doing it? Oh, this, this is only the fifth day. Oh, 
I thought, but didn't you do that here while I was? I did, it, I did it different last time, and I felt and because how many I, guys did you make at that time? I, well, I well the, the last time it was it was I was going to try to do um, a painting a day for a month. Yeah, I'll and I was going to do as many as I you know in, but that that didn't work out. So now it's more of a <laughs> marathon. Where you can just go as long as long as you can. So uh -huh. I'm on I'm on day five now. I'm gonna uh -huh. see how many consecutive days I can get one painting done each day. So a minute ago when you said tonight you were gonna paint like crazy, yeah. you should have said it was I'm gonna paint like usual. I yeah. thought of that at the time, but yeah. he always, you know he's yeah, painting he constantly. Does. He paints like crazy. Always. Okay. Crazy. So he's the Stephen King of the <coughs> thing. Yeah. That's, it's scary. <laughs> it's my scary. Yeah. My so paintings will make you poop your pants. <laughs> so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go no time, no time to poop your pants. I'm yeah. gonna go over to the chat for a minute because we've got lots of people that are chiming in. Even oh, really? sin, even since the, the art news. Cause we, I mean we've been it's been a little bit. Oh really? Um so apparently uh Valerie ch chimed in and said the moon was last night. Oh, uh, okay. But you know, ch check it out. You know, I mean, who knows? Uh, I I, I want to say Valerie, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I want to say you're. She might be in a, a whole other part of the world. I want to oh. say she's in a. Oh. So I don't know if the moons are different on other parts of the world. Anyway, I I'm, I'm probably like I'm so blonde right now. It's <laughs> Which moon have you guys <laughs> got? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, I mean, like I maybe her blonde day. 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 <laughs> The American moon. I am as blonde as you. No, but it's true though. It's like with the, with the atmosphere, yeah, depending on where, where you are. Right, right. That's what I meant. That's yeah. what I meant. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then, and she she said, um, pink is based on a flower that blooms early. That's why it's called pink moon. It's, oh. I, I assume that means it's probably oh, not actually that's cool. pink. Although the Facebook post was like, it's a pink moon. They should really correct that. Facebook, correct oh. that. Come on, Facebook. <laughs> when you have the blood moon, they're red. It's red, yeah. Well, yeah. So. Well, Come on, Facebooks. What are you doing? <laughs> Get together. So, um, well, hey, um, um, what time is it? Is it time for the giveaway? Um, we got another, like, uh, ten minutes. Do we? Okay. We're 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 gonna we're we're, we're chilling. I was gonna oh. grab the, the Will and Nelson painting, and um, uh, whenever we do that, I'll run in there and grab it. And, and you yeah. have the sticky for him. Um. All right. I'm just wondering what else we got in the chat going on. Um. She she Valerie also chimed in and said her um. Uh, mom used to work at the Federal Reserve in Dallas in the 80s shredding old money. Mm. So that's interesting. I can't imagine doing that job. I know. Can you imagine? I can't imagine. Like, tread pocket, tread pocket. Yeah. 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 I'd have to cry I'm every day. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do that. Yeah. Surely she took some of it home. Oh, I doubt it. I mean, you could. Who, you there's probably cameras all around that room. Who doesn't take their work home with them? <laughs> yeah, <really. laughs> that would be the excuse. Yeah. I was taking it to my home truck. I was going to make sure. That it was the right cereal. I'm so dedicated. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right. You don't even know. The only job we're taking your work home with. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, that's fine. You know, I'm wondering. His face is kind of wet now, and um, so I'm worrying about maybe working. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should say Valerie just chimed in. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm, I'm, I'm very wrong. She's in Flagstaff, only two oh. hours behind us. Oh. So her moon so is the same moon. Oh. <laughs> the same moon, right, Jackie? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Man. I've been watching a lot of, a lot of sci-fi here lately. I've been listening to a ton of music in the studio, but also listening to uh, the Amazon Prime. Oh my goodness! If if you click on that, the included with Prime, you'd be able to. <laughs> this must be serious. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Here's the. Here's the Hang on a second. Yeah. I'm being serious. Yeah, I'm serious now. I'm yeah. This most serious <laughs> pose. But if it, the the movies that are included with Amazon, there's some really really great ones, and then most of them are really really B. Like there's some incredible B movies. So if you ever want to see a really B zombie movie. Oh, oh yes, man, yeah. oh yes, I always, you know, yeah. sometimes I get up in the middle of the night and they don't work, there's a piece of it. Oh, please let there be a piece of it. Oh, God, please. So, on the chat, we have, uh, we have a, a new person I, I haven't mentioned before, Kelly Joyce Floyd. She um, She's asking, is anyone painting this evening? So, oh. hello. Um, no. <laughs> On, on the chat, I assume. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. A lot of times, people, and, people will paint a lot. Yeah, of yeah and so Stephanie says <laughs> yes, Cheryl. So I, I'm assuming oh, Stephanie oh. is um, painting. So oh, that yeah. you know that actually reminds me. Oh. Um, I know a couple of people will paint along with you and all that sort of fun stuff. 
Um, we were thinking earlier what would be a better way to, I don't know, like um, include that art or yeah. include some sort of, because I know we have some people that chime in pretty regularly and maybe do art on the side or whatever. They don't have to do it along, but... I want to encourage everybody that's listening that does art, you know, Owen, I mean, everybody, Mm -hmm. um, to, you know, send us an email that's like, hey, here's a piece of art, because you asked, I asked, and we can talk, you know, I can throw it up on the screen, and we can talk about everybody else's art. That's a really good idea, because because we can have a whole segment of viewer art. Yeah, viewer art, that's that's a great idea. idea. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we should totally do, so everybody, everybody. Email bramblet at gmail.com with, with your hand? art. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> send a picture all, of your all, art. All the mom's art's dirty. I don't know if we have to send that. It's inappropriate. I won't send in that. <laughs> <laughs> no Not art. those pictures. Wait a minute. I have to give a ch- shout out. Who is that with the help. purple heart, Jackie? Oh, I'm going to scroll that up. That was pretty way. cool. Somebody sent a message with a bunch of purple. Oh, oh you don't gosh. know how to do the emoticons? Mm-hmm. I've never had the need to, but I mean, this is... Uh, I've never needed to express myself in that fashion. Uh, Carl, 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 Carl Red works for me, <laughs> but that purple. Yeah, that's Carl cool. Kelso sent a, a bunch of um, strings of purple hearts, so How that's cool, nice. Carl. It really is. And, oh. and um, um, Azura Muse said, just painted a purple beta fish. That's cool. See, oh, that's cool. what I'm talking about. I would love to see that. Oh, okay. um, for a second, I was like, he took a fish. And- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're right. But so that that. send that no. you know send a picture oh. in with like you know obviously your oh. name or your screen name and then like an explanation and all that sort of fun stuff and you know we'll do like a viewers art segment or something because that would be I mean awesome. I want a screen yeah. name I want a cool code co- code name I don't know I don't know what it would be code name oh and I should say Valerie Star chimed Lord, in and like said um, <laughs> because she was the uh, she said there were armed security and cameras everywhere in the shredding of the money situation. Oh, oh well. Um, though her mom did bring home shredded money and it was great for packing with. Oh, I'm cool. yeah. Could you yeah. imagine? Wow. Together, like, <laughs> cool. Can you imagine yeah. like ta- scotch yeah. taping all that? I, I think they would catch on. All your money is, you is like, is like shredded. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would like to back up the TV, please. <laughs> <laughs> John, what was that name you used to have? Thor? Thor? That could be your name. Thor? Thor? No, it wasn't my name. Yeah, I'll take Thor. it, though. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. I, I love that someone any would confuse me with Thor. No, Joe. <laughs> there was a name that Joe used to. Thor? Or I don't think so. Yes. <laughs> it must have been your other son. No, Joe would know if he's listening. You, my other son, probably. <laughs> An only my child. Bri- my bride when they could remember such thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That no, um, was... um. Thor? Yeah, you would say yeah. Thor. Don't you remember you and Joe? Oh, Lothar, the hill Lothar. people. Lothar. That's it. I'm that. Lothar, the hill Lothar. people. Yeah. Lothar. She had the yeah. Yeah, linguistics. I had the, I had the and we're bringing it back to Wayne's World, kind of, you know, the same Mike, Mike Myers. He was the guy that did oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah, he did that. I'm Lothar, the hill yeah. people. Yeah, you know, and say Lothar. Wow. You are a dork. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> awesome. That could be your name. I, I should I should have known it wouldn't be Thor I'm getting confused with <laughs> Thor. <laughs> Thor. <laughs> you know Thor and the people. So uh, Kelly Joyce Floyd um, said that uh, <laughs> should have painted t- today but went to Beachcomb in- instead, which I, it sounds I lovely. I don't know what Beachcomb. And um, um, I probably sound. would go there instead of doing really. The painting. Um, but they're procrastinating on their painting um, and haven't they haven't painted a thing since Blendy. So I'm not sure, I don't know what that is, but that would be awesome for an image, and then we could share. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play, play with Prince's hair for a while. Okay, oh. so. And tassel it and toss it in. Well, I'm sure he did many times. I bet he did. Well, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a close-up of Prince. Yeah, let me step over here if you're doing a close-up real quick. Okay. And I'm going to grab... A giant bucket of goo. Plaster of pots. So are you... Oh, I assume this is where texture is going to come into play, maybe? This is where oh, texture... Oh, it's not texture? Oh, Ooh. that's yeah. sweet. Ooh. Well, I'm just, I'm just, texture on plants. I'm, I'm just going to do... I'm just going to do is... Oh. is um, yeah, um, that'll be nice. Oh, shoot. I, I just touched oh. something. Yeah, there. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Um, Blendy is a chameleon owned by um, Cinnamon. 
and Cinnamon is a, it watches occasionally, so mm. oh. I don't know if she's tuning in tonight, but um, anyway, that's cool, a, 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 you know, a chameleon, I want to see. Yeah. So if you put this on top of what you're already doing, isn't it going to just, the colors that you've already put will be null and void, like it won't matter? Ish. Ish. But. Oh dear, I, I, I kind of messed up his nose. I, I touched it and my hands were dirty, so I just want to fix it real quick. Um, so the, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that on his face right now. I'm going to let it dry a little bit, and I'm going to add some texture to his hair. Right. And, um, but later I'm going to go in with a lot of the, of the similar colors that we have in, a, in his face and stuff, and I'm going to put in um, the, the colors, but, but I, I'm going to use the um, paint knife. Most most likely, I might I might use a brush, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna let it dry and let it feel, and let it feel. I'm gonna feel it a little bit, but I'm gonna get some goo. Okay, so in this medium I'm using, it's it's a gloss su su super heavy su structure gel, mm. and it just gives a um, it's it's gonna give the paint a a, a very thick impasto. So you're gonna oil mix paint. it with the paint. You're not gonna just put it on there and paint it over it. Okay. See, yeah. I thought that you were gonna create like the texture first and paint on top of the texture, but you're actually going to oh, do yeah. that. Put the paint with it. Yeah, yeah. This, and then, yeah, you okay. betcha. Okay. Can, you, can you hold some of that texture up to the camera so that? Oh, I did. Oh, okay. So you're gonna put like, gel in his hair. One, I was looking away. Oh, I got that hair. Um. So that's okay. So you're. That's okay. cool. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna because it's a medium. It's the same stuff that the paint is made out of. It's just a little bit of a, of a, th of a thicker version. Here, let me, let me mix this. Um, you might need some there. more of that blue. Mm. Got, got liters and liters of that But that paint there. thins it out. Well, it, it, does a, it does a tiny bit, but it's not, um, um, and you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have to, you, you don't have to, you, you don't have to thin it out as much as I did. I did, I just wanted this, this texture, mm -hmm. um, because the, 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 the medium, it, it dries pretty clear, so you only need a tiny bit of paint, really, but, um, but I wanted this creamy sort of, sort of texture. Mm-hmm. Cool. But you know what I'm talking about, like, with a spackle, like, yeah. where you, you use a tanner's knife, and you spackle a wall. Uh-huh. That's the same kind of thing, right? It's thick. Yeah. It's creamy. You put it. Let's get dragged. Yeah, it's um. It is. It's it's very much the same thing. Um. And it dries fairly quickly. It does. It does. It'll dry pretty quick. Um. More paint than this. So, so it dries. It, so it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot like the spackle. And the, sp the spackle has more. Oh, there's the purple. Yeah. Do you want purple. me to do the the art giveaway while you get paint? Um, sure. All right. All right. All right. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go grab that art giveaway. Okay, so we're gonna give away some art. Woo! How this works is, um, basically, I'm gonna throw up the question, and um. On the screen and you're uh, in the chat go ahead and write what letter you think is the right answer before I give you the answer and I will put your name down on a post-it and in the hat and the lovely Deborah will pull it out of the hat so <laughs> and awesome. he, yes and totally. because <laughs> it is an ode to Prince Knight here is your question what song did Prince perform live on his first television appearance? Dude. A, Controversy. B, I Want to Be Your Lover. C, Delirious. Or D, Alphabet Street. Bam. Do, do, I got do, this. Do, 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 do. She told do, you do, do, do. No, I, she wouldn't tell me the answer. I didn't tell anybody the answer. Well, did it come to you? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I, I, love love I know what it should be. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I'm gonna, so um let me read it again. What song did Prince perform live oh, on his first television appearance? A controversy, B I want to be your lover, or C delirious, or D <laughs> alphabet street. <laughs> I'm trusting that um 
everybody is not cheating. Googling this. Oh, do it, Google. <laughs> what is mine? <laughs> oh. We got some answers coming We've in. We've got some answers coming in. I am as you're writing the right answer, I am putting your I'm writing your name. I don't have a clue, but I know what I think it should be. Okay, well, I will. I, let, let's. Oh, they're all over the place. Yeah, it, it's interesting. I'm a little surprised. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I would. I would. I wouldn't have known if you hadn't told me. I mean, I don't know. Like, like, like you told me the fact before. You know, it was a question. Hey, Marilyn, you and I think a lot. <laughs> all right. Here's the answer. Everybody, it, now is your last time to write in. Even if you're not chatting or you don't know, just guess. Guess need, real fast. We need a sound effect for this, too. That's bum, all you need to do. Is <laughs> guess. Okay. All right, here's the answer. Ooh. I want to be your lover. That's what I thought. That's what it is? Yeah. Uh, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> well, that's easy to say. Hey, no. I won. I won. Did you? Because I think I thought it first. <laughs> I think I thought it. Your, your mom might get a print. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> I won because I think I thought it. <laughs> I think I thought this. So I think I win. I figured it was that because he would want to go with something that sounded kind of out there. All right. Well, Marilyn, you might win. I'll do my best. <laughs> okay. So I am putting all of the things in here. Here, wait, let me cut. What's that one over there? Hold on. Wrinkled up. That's an old one. Oh. All right. Um, oh. Yeah, don't lose All right, here we go. Hold on. Marilyn, I'm thinking it. All right. <laughs> here. <laughs> do, 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 do. I want Marilyn to win. <laughs> <laughs> if Marilyn wins, we know this is Frank. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got it. All right. Isn't that very funny? Oh, sorry, Marilee. Marilee is mom's mom, <laughs> oh, sister. Carl, Carl Kelso. Hey, awesome. So, much for so <laughs> very cool. That's awesome. I don't know if you can see that, but Carl, yay. Yeah, I, I think awesome. he actually wrote, he, you know what? I'm sure he didn't Google it because he was like the first one to respond. He was like, Beep. Oh, he's got, got a this. fast, he's <laughs> got a fast <laughs> finger. <laughs> are you kidding? I want to say, uh, I say um, there was a post on Facebook and it had a picture yesterday that I think maybe um, Carl Carl did, but I, I was going to get you, you know, to read it I, or I, to describe it to me. And I, I would think a real yeah, could be. friend would know. But I'm, yeah. I'm, I, may, I, may, I may be wrong, though. I'm, I'm, everything's been a little nutty. Um, I've been painting until like 4 or 5, 3, well, usually more like 4, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> 5 in the morning the with this pa this painting marathon thing, and it's been a little nutty. It's been fun. Yeah, um, I should say... Um, uh, I should say congrats. Um, also, okay, so how we, how we do this it, um, is basically that the per, uh, Carl, you want a medium sized print. Thank you. Why is she so? Um, a medium sized print of anything you want on the website, uh, and then I, just email bramblet at gmail dot com and tell me what you want, and then and with your address, and I'll send it along. If you would like the um, Prince painting that John's working on, I, I, I'm going to take a picture of that in the next like few days, and that'll be a print. Maybe um, it might it might it might be a little bit longer yeah, because uh, I'll, I will, I'll be gone for a couple of days. Yeah, so I mean it may be like five days before I can really get a good image of it, but it takes me that long to do a lot of things. So Although if I'm that's just, what you want, just say hey Prince and or whatever you want. Email bramblet at gmail dot com. Did you say Prince? And. Um, mm -hmm. And I will get that right out to you. So congrats. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, thanks so much, Carl. That's cool. And, thank, and thanks, everybody, for playing. Yeah. And I was thinking about doing doing a um, subscriber appreciation contest where, 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 where we, like, for, for all the subscribers, so just people that have subscribed to the channel, yeah. maybe maybe give, like, a gift pack of maybe, like, um. Uh, oh yeah, some guitar picks, some buttons. And yeah, all sorts yeah, of stuff. like guitar pick buttons, um, prints. You know, a little like a, just like like thanks so much for. That'd be really cool. Yeah, so, so if you guys want to do that, uh, I can post it next week, and, and maybe we can do that next week. Oh yeah, and. Oh yeah, we get we need to talk about next week. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was just thinking. It's funny. Um, What's next week. It's arts and jazz fest. <laughs> so for like, okay. so for like the next four weekends, where we have stuff planned on Friday. It's like actually for. 
We're just yeah. This, this it's it's it's, it's, it's starting to get a little nutty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the deal, <laughs> and, and we were gonna kind of put this to the crowd, the the chatting crowd. If you want to weigh in, I'm really kind of curious. Um, basically, for the next four weekends, I mean maybe five, we are either at a festival or John is out of town or in a scenario where. He may not be busy, but he's out of town, which we could live stream maybe from like hot springs or something like that. Yeah. But it's it's iffy. So the question is, do we willy nilly with the nights, or we do we do it on Thursday or something like that, and then just hope people tune in, or do we just throw up a live feed of what we're doing no matter I, what from seven to nine on Fridays? And I personally good. Well, I was going to say personally. <laughs> so, so I think the live feed, because if I'm out of town, it could just yeah. be a live feed of everybody waiting in the door for me to get back. I was going to say live feed. He's like, is he back yet? Is he back? Because I'm sure that's what you guys do, right? Yeah, right. right. Yeah. We wait at the we door. We wait. We yeah. wait at the door. <laughs> When's he coming? Is he coming? Yeah. Did you check? Well, check well Carl went, weighed in and said Thursdays are fine. I uh, My thing is, is that, I mean, and just from, I don't know, I, I just think consistency is key yes. in, like, gaining viewership. And so... Um, I wonder if we should just try to be creative with our live feed, even though it's like next Friday is going to be at the Arts and Jazz Fest and we don't have... I mean, you, if anybody that tuned in to Deep Ellum, you know it's like the sound's kind of crazy. Although it's the a mics little might nutty. be better now. I mean, it will be better this time. We might be able to spruce it up. I don't... I, I mean, we could get creative, but I, we can't guarantee anything. So, And then again, in Hot Springs, that could be interesting. Mm. I think it could be interesting if we're traveling yeah. and people are watching. It's just... Yeah. I, I just wonder if people are going to be like, man, they are just filming themselves <laughs> yeah. on yeah. trips. I don't think that's going to be <laughs> the case at yeah. all, at all. Because, but I do agree with you. Consistency, me, because I've told people it's every Friday at this time. Yeah. And yeah. so if they know that, and then they happen to be open some Friday at that time, and it's not there. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Well, that's and and not and a I, I mean, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, so I don't know, and it's it's you don't know with YouTube, it's pretty f flex. I mean, like YouTube is so different, you know. I mean, you can tune in later, you can fast forward and, and rewind. I mean, it, it, like you net, yeah, you, you get notified when a that's new show a really is up. good point. So I wonder if the time, I mean, it, the live feed really is what makes the fact that it's consistent important. It's it, you know because we get we can get subscribers from just doing videos in general. Some of the people chiming in on the chat. Um, uh, say Wednesdays and Thursdays are good. Um, Carl said Thursdays are good. Kim Sim uh, said. Time, Kim, Kim oh. said. Sim said. Um, uh, I, she can rem barely remember that it's supposed to be Fridays. Um, uh, and then and then Stephanie said uh, creative live feed would be fun. Um, and then Owen said, does John have a tour page in his website to check out? I d a tour you know, page. Oh, like where you're going to be next? That's tour. Fun. Yeah. Oh, uh, like you're a rock star. You may well, not tour. <laughs> I, I, you, yeah. know, you know what's funny? I am. Um, you have one. I do, but it's not, it's not, it, but it's not filled <laughs> out. Uh, but it's okay because you are. You're, uh, you're a rock star. Well, Thank you. We, we, I, I, I will say that we do have somebody working on the site, and, the, and a major aspect will be like upcoming events where you're going to be because. Yeah. It's crazy, but... That's something I want to do really quick, because, uh, like, in the next two months, there's, like, 13 events or yeah, something. Yeah, we need to update yeah. that. So, thank you, Owen, for bringing that to the light. Yeah. <laughs> we need to do that. Yeah. Well, John, are you going to ever do a... Uh, I'm sorry, Jack. No. In the middle. Uh, what I was going to ask was, do you, are you ever going to do, like, on your live chats, mm -hmm. where you give away the painting that you're working on? Oh, I don't really know. Probably like not. <laughs> I I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> the show just got really expensive for us. <laughs> 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 yeah. well, I was saying it before I said it. would have to be it. like... I thought around Christmas or like a grant, you know. Maybe, oh, okay, maybe, okay. maybe if it were for a charity maybe. where people were donating. Mm -hmm. That's and a if good they idea. Well, that's true. Money, then he would well, and I was thinking too. To the drawing well, I, wonder, I wondered about like that. Would be cool. I wondered about that because, like, tomorrow night I'm doing the the live painting, and I was thinking if it was possible, like, we couldn't this time because no, he's not. J J oh. Jackie's not going to be there. He's a so, um, yeah. So. Um, you know, but to live stream it because because we we have, we have a mobile hot hot spot so yeah yeah now so you know so we so we can literally stream Same. anywhere if there's a cell connection Same. we can stream, um, but it's just gonna be me. 
tomorrow tomorrow at the in um, Missouri. Mm. But that that would be cool though. It would be awesome because yeah, if you could sell the painting there, it would open it to a bigger audience, right. and the charity might because every penny is going to go to the charity. Um, you know, for that and. Um, um, all right, and I'm doing the paws and uh, the wine and whiskers thing in Denton, by the way. I'm promoting. Well, that's cool. Uh, and that's on the 28th. Of, 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 of April? Yeah. Really? This Thursday. This Thursday. It's going to be awesome. That is cool. I'm, I'm working it. I'm not going. But. So well, that is cool. All right. Um, really quick, we do. Really quick, we do have a visitor. Say hi, Jack. Hi. Ah. And uh, guys, um, <laughs> if, in a little bit, if you after the interview, if you want to go to, uh, I think it's best gamer in the world, Jack Jackson Jack Jackson Jackson. And if you're wondering how to spell Jackson, you're like, well, that's easy. Well, it's actually J A C K. S O N. So best gamer in the world, but it's it's best gamer in the it's, world. It's it's B G I T W. Oh, all <laughs> acronyms. It's an acronym. Mommy, yeah, only thing, if I go out of this room and uh -huh. get my iPad, now, I won't come back in here. But if I type in best gamer in the world, Jackson, would it show? Would the uh, You would probably need my help, but we'll well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure um, it out after the fact. Yeah, a little bit, baby. All right, cool. All right, so tell us what, what you got going on with the painting, man. Well, I added some stuff to his hair. I added some stuff to his hair and um, so, so, some texture. That looks awesome. You did that, like, so quick. Well, thank you. So I'm not sure. Um, um, I'm going to let it dry a little bit. The, the stuff, it dries pretty quick, but the thick stuff takes a little bit longer. Um, I, went, I went and got, and got my, my Willy painting, too, so let me show oh, that really cool. quick. Oh, cool. Uh, this is a painting I did yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. Yeah, it's yeah. Nice. Oh, thank you. So, Very nice. So it's more of a somber kind of willy. He but just got busted. Did he? Again? <laughs> no. Oh. no, I'm no. just saying. In that. Oh. No, man. Oh, 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 <laughs> no one's surprised. He's never getting busted again. Fake poor willy. Yeah, he's got, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so, sure he's yeah. Um, immune. A couple of more people have chimed in on the live stream question that we put out there and um I, oh, oh my goodness where is it? it's going so fast um uh, azure mu said uh that they think um we should stay constant when with our set for streaming and add more when we can i actually think that is a really good idea yeah to, to do to to say so we just we just do this every friday seven to nine regardless of where we're at assuming we have wi-fi I mean, but but what if we don't have Wi-Fi? If we don't have Wi-Fi, then we will we'll have to come up with a plan. I mean, we do have a hotspot, so we could figure. I mean, it could literally be a camera on your chest. Oh my God. Because 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 we have been there's in some places options. where, and there's yeah. lots of times like like I you know it's funny in the last six months I think I've been on the top of a mountain three times. Oh yeah, my I mean it it, it know, could be dicey sometimes. That it, it might be, be once like every. Did, years it's a different mountain. Like so we're on the same. Really? Yeah. Oh gosh. About time. Yeah. So I, I think that's, someone I think that, that could be a good idea if we just try to keep consistent seven to nine Fridays, but then we tr we do, we we need we do need to throw in some extra video like periodically. So yeah. Thank you, Azure Music. Yeah. Thanks. Video. Thanks so much for the suggestion. That's a really good idea. And you know because I, I don't know the whole thing about this show is just that we're we're wanting to do something that's just fun for everybody and you know when it's fun like where we can get on there and chat and get ideas. I mean that's sort of the whole the whole reason I started painting was to meet other people that right. are really into art. And that's yes, the whole reason for the show because we're you know we're painting, we're do, doing this stuff anyway, so why not you know? Well, and get guys, together? if you haven't read his book, he's also um, I met him in a creative writing class. Um, I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's that's how I initially mm. met John was in creative writing, mm -hmm. um, and this guy walked in and he had his stick and was walking around the desks mm -hmm. like he knew what he was doing. I was like, he's he can see. <laughs> no idea. Get him. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> and, but uh, then we became friends. But um, so he was blind at that time. Yeah, he, he was had losing partial. His I mean, he was losing his sight. Oh, it, yeah. was, it was um, where he the point where he was riding on giant. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and a giant TV. Oh yeah, yeah, man, I remember that. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I, um, to, to be able to write, I, I, I filled my room with white whiteboards yeah. Yeah. so that I could write from floor to ceiling because I had to write really big letters. Oh, wow. And then I would just write out the yeah, sentences. Yeah, I remember and, that now. Yeah, that was weird. I forgot, I forgot about that. That was weird. I forgot about that too. Yeah, and, and I remember he could see like shadows. Like, mm-hmm. but that was pretty, I mean, that's that, that was like That was like 2000. Something like that. Probably yeah. like 2000. Uh, yeah. 2001. I think so. Um, and one of the best writers <laughs> I've, I've met. Oh, well, thank you. And uh, uh, just well, so I don't know if anyone's read his book, but. Uh, what is sh- shout- shouting in the dark? Shouting, shouting in the dark. Shouting in the dark. Well, thank you. It is award winning. <laughs> <laughs> well, it won, it won, it won, it won one award. <laughs> <laughs> in a category with one and two. What was that? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What was but the award was, for, John? I don't remember. Uh, it, it was a Barbara Jordan award. That's right. So. But, uh, I mean, he really, is, he, he's multi talented. It's not just uh, art. It, it, he well, can well, write thank you. really well as, as well, and is a great friend. So. Well, thank you. That's yes, nice. so sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, we've got some people chiming in about the Willie painting. That that was awesome. Well, thank um, you. Owen asked, "Didn't you meet Willie Nelson and touch his face?" No. He thought, which oh uh, no, that was Jeff Bridges. Yeah. yeah, no, didn't get to meet Willie. But man, that has always been. Well, probably one of the celebrities on the top of the list yeah, to yeah. me. Yeah, and that's it's the reason I did the painting the way I did it. Well, because um, I want to do a brighter Willie Nelson painting, but I did one more of him looking down and mm-hmm. darker because when I meet him, I want to get the colors you know from his personality, not not just his music. You want this purple rain shot? Mm. Oh sure, thank you. Mm. Oh. Don't want to do oh. So. oh, thank You're you. You're a bright man, John. Well, thank you. Well. It is he made it. So. <laughs> uh, they, they aren't. They aren't. They aren't great. Not <laughs> as you put it further away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, well, John, have you thought about? You know, I told you I had an idea for a painting. And um, what about Cinco de Mayo? Oh yeah, um, for doing. I don't know something to do with Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, I mean, it's coming up. That would be cool, wouldn't it? That would be cool. That's a good idea. I wonder, wonder what it could be. So, I, I, I don't have an idea, but I forgot what it was now. <laughs> hey, Jack. After the thing. Go out, what? please. I was just going to oh, I know what I was thinking, John. Thank you. Maybe a bull. Something to do with a bull. You know, you do so many Western, uh, or uh, yeah, like a bullfighter. Yeah, a bullfighter yeah. is yeah. what I was thinking. Something. Yeah, that, that, that. My suggestion would, would be. Cool. be um, have you ever done a bullfighter? Um, I, I did a bull rider. That would be oh, cool. A bull fighter, a Spanish. Uh, a bull fighter. Oh, oh, would be cool. oh, oh, like a, oh, uh-huh. you know. A matador. Oh. Toro, Toro. <laughs> it's funny, but uh, you know, I've led, I've led, I've led to gu- discussions about lots of paintings with bullfighters. Like, uh, yeah. And then part of the discussions, like, oh, especially really? the Meadows Museum. Yeah, they. Uh-huh. they um, the Meadows Museum in Dallas has one of the best collections of Spanish art around. Yeah, it's just incredible. Oh, oh. It is just incredible. It's so it's so wonderful. And um, and there's some bullfighters. And it's interesting with some of the bullfighters because you can tell like by the, the what they're wearing, how they're how they're positioned. Mm-hmm. That maybe it's just sort of a pretty bull. <laughs> like they're not really like you know they're yeah. more of the rock star kind of the bull scene. Yeah, you know, they are rock star. You know the way yeah. they they're you know you think about it, they're yeah. so theatrical and. Yeah, and then, and, there, and there's others that are more. Um, you can tell that I don't know, like they're all they're all. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's it's, it's interesting. Yeah, that, that, you that, know, that, the that, cape, the hat, the yeah, that that would hose. be. A, <laughs> well, hey, in the comments over here, Valerie said um, that she would love to see you paint Warren Haynes. Now, who's that? Government mule. Hmm? Oh, government mule. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Who is that? Huh? Um. Thanks. Um. Government Mule is a band, and um, oh, um, you know, I want to say I was just listening to they, they were coming up on my Spotify the other day. Mm. I, w- I was listening to something like I didn't I didn't type in Government Mule. I, l- I like them, but I don't know. I, d- I just type in d- different things, and yeah. it's kind of cool just to see what pops up, and and, and they came up on a mix. Yeah, I want to say Government Mule sounds really fami- familiar. I don't. Know it does. Like if you heard the if you put them on, you go like, oh yeah. 
Um, uh, Uncle Joe wrote in and said that he remembers you writing a story called Falling Away a long oh, time ago, yeah. and it was great. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. That is some old school memories right there, because I remember when we were first dating, mm-hmm. and <laughs> I have this that is so original. crazy. Do you have it? Yeah. You have you the do? story? Yes. Oh, cool. Where? At the link in the closet. Oh, that's great. Why you want it? No, I want to read it again. I remember when we were dating, I read it, <laughs> I think and it was on my nightstand for like a month sure or so. Sure, I have it. I'm almost anyway, that it. that's crazy. That I um, um yeah, that would be great sure. to read. Yeah, again. I would like to read it myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope it so, there's been so much writing there. I hope it's not damaged, but. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I'd, like, I'd like to scan it because uh-huh. it, it might have got. You know. Almost positive. So he, he also he also said that you should you should paint a, a bullfighter where the bull wins because. Oh, that's yes. a good one, Joe. Where, where that that it. actually is awesome yeah. because yeah, that uh-huh. would be really cool. It's okay. Yeah, that's, blood, death, and uh-huh. gore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I like sign me up. <laughs> hey, you guys, if, if y'all if y'all ever read on um, the Hemingway book Death Death in the Afternoon. It's um, it, it's his, it's his accounts of bullfighting, but Ooh, it's I poetry. Really I've excerpts. heard of it, but I have not read it. Oh, it's so good. I've read it two or three times. It's really. You've read good. all of his works, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, well, you know, I think there's one I have. All of Well, John, do you ever write anymore? I know you used um, to be a pretty prolific writer too. You know, everything he does, he does. I guess you don't have time, huh? Uh, I do. I do write a little bit, but I'm not here. Here lately, like. Honestly, in the last six months, to eight months, I haven't written that much because things are a little, just been painting so much. But um, but I still pay, I still write a little bit because you know you just need to. But I, I'm not like working on a story or anything right now, mm-hmm. unfortunately. But I'm still writing because you do it like therapeutically. Or? Yeah, and it's, you know if you don't write, then um, it'll you know you'll get really stale really quick. Well, it's the and, same with painting, you know. But um. Yeah, and that's the truth. Mm-hmm. You know, but the the thing with the with the death in the afternoon was one one of the things that really struck me the most was was the horses that they use and a lot of time like the horses that they go in there mm-hmm. and they'll they'll try to chase the bull around and the and the, and there the, there's different matadors there's like a toreadors and different things. I wish Carmen was here because she knows about all that. Her family's from Spain. She's Oh, she's really? she's she's the director mm-hmm. at the Meadows. She, she knows. Oh, she's she's so. Oh. And she's she's so nice. She's just really really you know, cool, it'd be interesting. Fun if when you did that um, um, that painting, mm-hmm. then you, you maybe you could have her for a guest. Oh, that'd be oh, great. That'd, that'd be cool. great if she would come up for that. And but one of the one of the things that were the horses, because a lot of times the horses they're they're horses that are older, because mm-hmm. you don't want to put a really good horse in there because they get gored quite a bit. Uh, and, uh, and and now and now though for the modern bullfights they they used to have quite a bit of armor and stuff on the horses but geez. used to like back in Hemingway's day they didn't necessarily do that and it, and to me it always struck me as one of the saddest things so a painting of a bull going after like a horse you know, with a with a, 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 a toreador mm-hmm. yeah. yeah it's you know One yeah. and the bulls are always killed even if the bull wins I mean like the bull never wins you know it's just you know, it's yeah, that's no, it's an honor. Oh. Come on, it's an honor. Well, it, it, and mm-hmm. your uncle was basically like, it's he feels it's as bad as dog fighting, so that's why he was I like, ma- make it, make it, yeah. it is horrible. It's horrible. Our cop. Yeah, and that's, you know, yeah. The, yeah well, now, you know what I, you know, and that's what I was thinking too, is because like the one that the one thing that really struck me was the horse, like the bull going after the horse, and then the man on top. Mm-hmm. It just, it just seems cor- horrible. You know, what I mean, it's just, I don't know. Like if you're gonna put. So uh, Valerie said Warren Haynes was also one of the guitarists for the Allman Brothers, oh, and, really? and oh. has played with the Dead. Wow. Huh? <laughs> the, band, the Grateful Dead. The Grateful Dead. Dead. <laughs> what? She doesn't get a graveyard. She doesn't get a graveyard. She doesn't get a graveyard. She's met Warren three or four times. Wow. Um, and yeah, so. That's cool. That would be a cool one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you should so do a hunter. Oh, that'd be, yeah, that, that'd be cool. But I only have those photos. Yeah. But there's tons of stuff out there. You could do a really good hunter. Oh, that'd be fun. I love his, I love his writing. Even like the Hell's Angels, like the mm-hmm. book, that, you know, the, man, he, that, that book was good. All, all of his books. John, that painting is really... Oh. So what else do you have Maybe. to do to this painting? We have five minutes. Um... I'm not going to finish this painting during the the, the show, because um, we only have five minutes. But <laughs> but um, you know I'm not sure. I'm kind of torn. It's like part of me wants to just kind of finish it out a little bit more and leave it like this. Yeah. Another part of me wants to use um, paint knives and go in and 
mix mm. some of the colors and mix like put a little, like little like oranges and whites like in with it and purple and orange you know and yellow and just kind of make it um, um, scarred up a little bit. Hmm. And so for the painting that I'm going to do for today, let and me his face was perfectly unscarred. Let me see if I can find it over here. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So the, the painting that I finished, that'll <laughs> yeah. be my painting I'm for sorry. today. It's gorgeous. Will yep. will we'll be this. Um, it's a Joey Ramone, so I'm going to post this a little, you know, on Facebook a little oh, bit later. Joey Ramone. Um, so thermos. Oh. No, 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 no. Beat on the back. The baseball bat. <laughs> That's good, John. Um, Sweet. Th this is sort of the same thing oh. I did with this, though. Is what I'm wondering is because um, with the the Prince painting, I have it blocked out, and that's what I did with the Ramones painting. Uh, but then I went in with a paint knife, and you can't really even tell probably that it's a paint knife in a lot of it. Uh, but I went in and just mixed the colors just to give it a bit of a, um, a different feel. And his hair, you can tell more in the background probably, but um, you can feel the texture of it. But it still has that painterly look. I mean, like the de detailed look, but it has more of a painterly look too, I think, with the paint knife. So I don't know. So one of the great things about art is that you can do all kinds of different things. You can really cool. play, play around with it and... Um, the bad thing is that there's a lot of things you can do with it. So here, I'll, I'll, I'll get right back to the camera. This is Aria. There. Haha. Yeah. The great thing about art is that you can do a million different things. The bad thing is that you can do a million different things. So which, <laughs> which one are you going to pick? But um, with this, I'm probably going to let it dry for a little bit and then work on it some more tonight. Um, pack for Missouri, but and then try to decide oh. what, what, what should feel better. I don't know. Hmm, that's a toughie. And the, and the thing too, oh, oh I, I have some great advice. If you're an artist, if you're a writer, if you're a musician, never ask for advice unless you're willing to not take it. Right. Um, <laughs> and, and also if you're not ready, like a lot of times somebody will ask, well, hey, what do you think about my painting or what do you think about my story or what do you think about this, this photograph? And um, the bad thing about that is that if they love it, you're not going to work anymore on it. You're going to think like, oh, yeah, you know, I am a genius. That <laughs> is great. It's done. You know, it's finished. And you're not going to push it anymore. Right. And they could be wrong. It could be terrible. Or they could say it's terrible, and it could be a great piece of work. They just don't get it. You know, they don't, they're not getting it. So either way, it's, you, know, you need to take it with a grain of salt. So, um, but, you know, but, it, but it's interesting, though. But if you, if you can keep the middle road, I think, you know, where you know that whatever somebody says, you're still going to do what you feel is the right thing to do with it. But it's it's interesting though to hear what, what what people say like like I'm really curious what like what what you guys think like if you think well, I, I, keeping I'm, the separated colors is better or you think like hitting it with a paint knife. Well, really cool. quick before I, we do I that, love that. I love really that. quick before we do that, um, we've got a um, person that chimed in first time I'm seeing the name, so it's Kimberly Severe. Um, Hi John, do you mix your own colors or just get them pre mixed? So if you want to answer that really quick, yeah, we can go um, to the other question. That's a really good question. I I. I I've done both. I've done it where you, you have the pigments and the oil and all that, or the you know with the oils. I've done it where you grind the pigments and um, it takes forever. But it's, you know it's fun. It's interesting. Um, but mostly what I do though is is I use acrylics. That um, now I mostly use acrylics. So I buy, I buy the the paint pre-made. Then I mix different mediums in with it, and sometimes I mix other pigments in with it too. So I'll buy a store brand paint. But then I'll mix it for whatever I need. So if I want to thin it down but keep the pigment strong, I may add a liquid pigment to it and, um, and maybe a, a thinning me medium. So I could add some of this and I could add a liquid medium, I mean a li liquid pigment. So you end up, you know, with a, you end up with a paint that you couldn't buy at a store, but you start with something that you got from a store, which I think is great. I mean, it, you know, it it's works. Awesome. Yeah, it works for me. And one of the great things about acrylics is that they have a million, di well, they have a million, but there's a ton of different, um, of mm -hmm. mediums that you can mix in with the paint. Everything to make it flow like water to, to you could carve it like a knife. And different pigments, you can get uh, dry pigments, I have dry pigments, you have watery pigments. Um, you could go out and get your own, you know, collect minerals and grind <laughs> your own in a mortar <laughs> vessel. Um, and add it to the paint, you know. And um, mm -hmm. The great thing about acrylics is that they're water-based, so it makes putting in your own pigments a little bit easier. Cause it, so as long as something is water-soluble, you can mix it with the paint. You just have to be careful not to add too much water because it'll break the molecules down, the connections between the paint, and it'll make it crack. Other than that, um, you can kind of go crazy with it and have fun. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> uh, it's 9 o'clock. It's 9 one. Oh my goodness. Ah. So, I mean, I'm turn into a pumpkin. I would. <laughs> 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 I would say to um, anybody that wants to chime in with um, 
you know, comments on, like, how you want to do the painting different, or, like, you know, what you asked earlier about, like, the lines and all that, still chime in. We monitor the chat for another, like, five minutes after it all goes because the feed's slow. But, um, you know, that's pretty much it. And then next week, I don't know. I mean, I guess this is what we'll do next week, unless John says otherwise. We'll <laughs> probably live stream from the festival and just try to, like, do something, work it out where we can maybe talk. I know I am able to talk a little bit more than he is, but... We'll try to work something out. So at yeah. least you guys will get a, you know, a, a you something. Know, some some sort of like peek into what what we do at these festivals every. Yeah, and what, what during the summer. It'd be cool too. I thought about take, taking the, the 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 GoPro and sending it up. Yeah, you could do a live yeah. stream. Yeah. Like, yeah. With and talk to people uh -huh. and be like, hey, you're here to you're with. Yeah, and that's, that's what we did really with, with Deep Ellen. We did that. We just need to be better with like the placement of the camera and the sound if possible but yeah I, we'll, I, we'll try to work it out i thought it'd be fun with the gopro if we could put it so that it has time lapse so you could see it's like start with just a green pass oh, yeah, patch yeah. of grass and then yeah. sure. put up the whole thing oh, cool. from the ground up fun. that's what i was saying yeah. I, have, I have a gopro so it's supposed to be raining though so it's supposed to be, supposed to be thunderstorms i think oh my thursday God. so you may just see us get struck by lightning oh my god <laughs> it yeah, turned into a very macabre video mind. Yeah. Well, guys, th thank you so much for tuning in. And Brooke and Mom, Woo! Jackie, Yay! what's up? Echo and me. Holler. Thank you, guys. You guys Woo! are awesome. Enjoyed it. Great questions, so. great comments, and answers to questions. Great painting. Yeah. Oh, thanks. So. <laughs> From your mother. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. All right. Well, again, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We will see you guys next week. Have a great week, guys. Bye. Night. <laughs>